As a parent, you know when something's not right. Something's not right. I never do nothing to that little kid. I guarantee you, you're the one to put it in his head. She was sick, twisted, manipulated. You're sick. My son said it to me first, and I would leave my son over anything. He did say it. That's why I'm here. The first time we really heard it was when you heard it. I thought you said you heard it a couple of weeks prior to that. The stories change and watch that. Whoever coached him, I'm going to get. He's definitely saying that you coached your son to say this. Why would I make this up? They figured that Josephine would throw me out if they came to her with a story like that. Do you believe that he touched your grandson? No. You don't molest my son. Do you touch my baby? I don't touch you your baby. Speak? All right, guys, stop. I did. I was molested when I was young. I would never I do that to another kid. I would never do that to another kid. Josephine's family was ripped apart after her boyfriend, Mark, was accused of molestation. You see, her son, Anthony, and his girlfriend, Renee, believe Mark molested their two-year-old son. But Mark believes Renee coached her son to say this. Take a look. My daughter-in-law, Renee, accused my boyfriend, Mark, of molesting my two-year-old grandson. I'm, I'm hoping it's just a misunderstanding. Back in December, uh, Renee had gone into labor, and I was watching my grandson, and I had to leave Mark at home with my two-year-old grandson and go to the hospital so I could be a part of the delivery. And a couple of weeks down the line, Renee calls me up and tells me that my grandson said that Grandpa Mark touched his peepee. When Renee said that to me, I was devastated, crushed, and hurt, and didn't know what to think. I was lost for words. I confronted Mark about it, and he told me that I've never even changed the baby's diaper. I was only alone with him for two hours. I don't know who to believe between Mark and Renee because they both have had this vendetta against each other that they, they don't like each other since the day they met. Mark's suspicion is that Anthony and Renee want him out of the picture because they're getting evicted and they want to move into my home. But at the same time, my grandson, who's two, I heard it with my own ears, him say, Grandpa Mark touched my peepee. So what do I do? Who do I believe? My son, Anthony, feels like I betrayed him, and I would never, ever, ever. I love my son, and I love my grandson to death. My son wants me to leave him, and, I, and, and, and I'm not so sure he did it. I need to know. If Mark was found on a lie detector test that he did it, I would not be with the man that did this. I just wouldn't do it. It's tearing my family apart. I love him. I've been with him for eight years, and it's just tearing me apart. Renee, tell me what happened. On December 10th, I went into labor with my daughter. Um, I left him with Josephine, thinking he was in the best interest because we have no family down in We moved down there last year. And so I'm going on my way to the hospital. I left my son, and she came later on. I was about just before I had her, and I said, where's the baby? She said, the baby's at home. And I said, with who? She said, with Mark. I said, we told you not to leave him with him, because the big thing was we always made clear, please don't ever leave our son with this guy. And it's not just because we don't like him. It's because we always felt a bad vibe from him. We always felt like. Well, what was the bad vibe? He's always just disliked Anthony and I. No reason. Just because He's she was always involved. you guys. Yes. Yeah, and not just us. It's also other family involved. And that's because she's a good grandmother. She does care a lot. She does do for us. She wants to spend time with us, but he doesn't like her time being spent with anybody else. So you said, whatever you do, don't leave our yes. child with yes. Mark. Yes, And I know she was excited because her, her granddaughter was coming into this world and... She left him with him thinking in her eyes that he would never do something like that. And the next day, my son, I called and I said, can you bring him to see his little sister? You know, I want to see my son. And he came in and he had this look like he's never had before. And he was putting his head down. He wouldn't want nothing to do with me and his father. He didn't want to look at us, and talk to us. he's two years old. He's two years old, but he's, he's vibrant. He's a happy, loving child. So we went back to the house. And that night, my son was still acting really different. wasn't acting like himself. He wasn't, he wasn't laughing. He wasn't playing. I thought he was having bad dreams. He was screaming. And a few days later, I noticed that there was a rash forming where his private area is. The doctor said it was an infection. 
And you think this was caused by somebody touching him? Somebody touching him. Were you ever able to confront Mark? Yeah, I mean... You, you believe that he molested your child? Yeah, but there's more to the story why I do. It wasn't just that. There was, you know, it all came together because Christmas Eve, we went to the house and I heard Mark whispering to my son something, but I didn't like the tone of it and I didn't like that he was whispering. He was out of sight because it's a big house. We're getting stuff on the table. I walked over. And as soon as I walked over, Mark's walking away. Like, what do you, you know, okay, that was a little bit fishy to me. So we're, we sit at the table. It's me, my son, and Mark sits right down next to him. Okay, and there's, there's this look in my son's eyes. Again, you know, he was fine when we got there, but soon after he sees Mark, he, he has this look in his eyes, this look that as a parent and you love your child and you know them and you're there every day, you know when something's not right, if you're really paying attention. And he was leaning towards me and he was looking at his food like this with his head down and my son doesn't put his head down. I was trying to pull my son towards me and he had his legs wrapped around his high chair. Like, why are you, why are you confining him to you? Why would, what, what, that's not normal to me. So I looked at his father and he looked at me and we felt like this overwhelming feeling like something's not right. So we left, we went home, we got to the house. Anthony asked his son, what's wrong, baby? You're not, you're not, you're not talking. You're not, what's wrong? And shortly later he goes, you know, Mark, pee pee, touch. And Mark comes back around about, I would say two weeks later. He hasn't been around since, and he wanted to come in the house. And I'm outside talking to the neighbor as he pulled up. And the window's open, and the baby's talking to him through the window, and I wasn't really paying attention, but he's talking to him. And Anthony calls, babe, get in here. I'm like, what's going on? He goes, listen to him. And he's talking to Mark, and he said it clear as day, Mark, Grandpa, touch my pee-pee. Touch it. Touch it. He's definitely saying that you coached your son to say this. I guarantee you, you no, didn't want to put it in his head. She was sick, twisted, manipulative. You're sick. Do you believe that he touched your grandson? No. You don't know that to my son. You touch my baby. I'll oh, touch you your baby. Sick. All right, guys, stop. He's definitely saying that you coached your son to say this. I guarantee you, you no, didn't want to I put did. it in his head. She was sick, twisted, manipulative. You're sick. I saw Mark being interested in my son, like, you know, wanting to shoot off fireworks for him, wanting to take him on a tractor ride, but I never was okay with that. But for some reason, Mark's always wanted to love this child. And it was like he was telling him to touch it. Like, not like just like touched him, but touch it. And he started sticking his hand down his pants. A few days after this, he was starting to stick his hands down his pants. He was, it was almost like a trigger. Once he saw the guy again, it was like... You believe Mark molested your son? I do. I believe my son. Um... I did. did you confront Mark about this? That night, he started calling the phone around 11, 12 that night, blowing it up. We didn't want to answer. We, didn't, we, we instantly wanted just to handle it with the police. We didn't want to answer. Anthony finally answers because it's late, and he's like, what do you want? And he's like, that sick bitch put it in his head instantly. Like, on the phone, I hear this through the phone, that sick bitch put it in his head. I didn't do it. It must have been somebody else. Like, I can understand being mad and upset, but to put the blame instantly on his mother, I would never do that. But to instantly blame somebody else makes you look guilty. And he was blaming you. He was instantly blaming me. Being mad about not doing it is one thing, but did to you, blame... Did you call the police? I did. I did. They didn't know this. They, this is probably the first time they're in it, but I did. When did you call the police? I called the police the next day um, because I had to talk to my officer. I informed her about this. This was two days later. I took the time to see if he kept saying, and he said it the day after, and he said it the next day. Once he said it, I called them, and they were there, and I explained everything to the sheriff that and came. What, and what, was, what did they determine? They determined they involved the major crimes unit, who called me just before I came on here, and I asked them to, I can get in the results. Did, did, and did they come to any conclusion? No, they wanted to interview him. They wanted to talk to him. DCF got involved. They saw that, they checked the kids, they saw we're fit parents. They can't get involved because major crimes unit, that's a... Right. So they, they want to interview him. They want to, but I said, listen, we're going on the show. Can you please just wait for these results? So because they have something to work with. It. And it was a real good deputy that ended up calling me. Um, now, you know, they're saying, or he's definitely saying, that you coached your son to say this. Mm -hmm. um, what, what, would you have any motivation? Besides, really, it doesn't sound like there's, you think he's creepy and everything else, but there's no uh, substantial thing why you don't like him. 
No. I mean, it's, you think he's not very loving and attentive to No, me. I feel like he really abuses Josephine mentally. He makes her feel like she can't get nobody else when she's a beautiful woman. I tell that woman, I don't care how big you are, how, how you're beautiful. Your beauty shows inside out. But he has confined her to not even wanting to do her makeup up. It's always like you can't go in that store without feeling like she's doing something wrong. It's, it's, I don't like the insecurity you put in her. And she's still dating Mark, though. Yes, she is. Um, what do you hope happens today? I hope to God that my son gets justice, that, that if he did do this, that he does get put away, and that he can't do this to another child. All right, what I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to leave the stage, and uh, we're going to bring out Mark, and uh, we'll bring you out at some point. Okay, thank you. Let's bring out uh, Mark. I would never do that to my grandson. Oh, uh, boo, nothing. You don't understand. We're going to go right to that night, okay, when she went into labor. Acting up. He's running around the hospital. So we took him back to the house, and he got dozy. I laid him down in his pack and play. And he went to sleep about 10 minutes later, and I fell asleep. Josephine just made it back to the hospital before she had her daughter. And then when she came, and she came back to the house, they never said, don't leave him alone with her. That's all made-up fabrication. All right, she's, she's got issues. We're going to go right back to day one when she first came into Anthony's life. She was sick, twisted, manipulative. She sat there, and she freaking, she's bit Anthony. She's broke his finger in a door in front of his, in front of his son. I mean, this is the type of woman, and she's doing this all she right now. She broke Anthony's hand? Oh, yeah. This was just recently, about four months ago. So you don't like Renee? Absolutely not. What she's done to Anthony? No. And she got pregnant with her son because Josephine was having a lawsuit because she fell in a supermarket, which I was there for her whole time. No, this is what I'm telling you. <laughs> really? I mean, she found out she was uh, getting money? But what, how am I not supposed to laugh at that? Yeah. I mean, come on. All right. It's such a crazy story. It is a crazy um, story. She's you're a crazy saying bitch. that she... <laughs> Okay. They figured that Josephine would throw me out if they came to her with a story like that. Do you believe that he touched your grandson? No. The first time we really heard it was when you heard it. I thought you said you heard it a couple of weeks prior to that. The story's changed and watch that. Whoever coached him, I'm going to get. They figured that Josephine would throw me out if they came to her with a story like that. Do you believe that he touched your grandson? No. You're saying she got pregnant because her boyfriend's mom was going to get a lawsuit? Yeah, she's looking for a free ride. She had no place to stay. I, I got to be clear on this. You're saying she heard that Josephine was filing a lawsuit. No, right? she's in the middle of a lawsuit. She right, thought she, she had a free ride. So she's in, she's she in no the middle place of a lawsuit. To stay. She's suing a grocery chain. And my, my girlfriend's got a big heart, okay. so she feels sorry for people. Okay. So she then, she knows that her you know, potential future mother-in-law is in the lawsuit, so she went and got pregnant? Yeah, while they're living, while Anthony's living okay. at the house. Um, you know. Yeah, well, that's her. That's her but mentality. Now, if I told you the same story, it would sound a little crazy, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what she but is. You, She's crazy. You swear that happened. And how do you know that How do you know that she got pregnant because of that? Because Anthony broke up with her about three weeks after they got together, and Josephine said, oh, you know what? I bet you she's going to come knocking at the door. Oh, I'm pregnant. And she did. And sure enough, not even two days later, she shows up at the door, I got no way to go, crying with the drama like you're seeing out here. She's a good, good putting on a show. And yeah, then, but now they got two kids together. Yeah, well, you, uh, we're going to get to that. Must be a big lawsuit. No, we're going to, no, no, we're going to get to that. She got pregnant the second time because when she moved down here to Florida, she jumped on Josephine's back and attacked her. Josephine called the police to have her removed from the house. She bit the officer. That's why she's on probation. Yeah, you know, I was going to ask about that. She said yeah. she had to call her officer first. Yeah. Uh -huh. So that does clear a little bit of yeah. that up. Okay. So she is on probation. She, she's mental. And it's because she she's attacked mental. Joseph. you accuse me of this? I'd never okay. do nothing to that little but kid. Pay I love him like the, he's my own grandson. Okay, pay attention to the questions I'm asking. I mean, there's no blood between me and him, but okay. I'm, go ahead, shoot. Okay. I know you're upset. And I'd be upset, too, no if I was idea. accused of what you're being accused of. She's on probation because she jumped on Josefina and attacked her. And Josephine called the police. Josephine just wanted her removed okay. from the house. But now, what's the relationship And she turns like around now? and texts and turns. But it must Josephine be okay. can't stand her. She just, she just appeases her saying, oh, I love you, and deals with her for her son and the grandchildren. Did Josephine uh, settle the lawsuit? Did she get money? Yeah, that's how we moved down to Florida. Oh, so she got, uh, would you say it was substantial? It, 
wasn't as substantial as, as Renee was thinking. Okay, but it was There was cool. another family member that was taking care of him up in New York. He cut them off. Okay. So and then they were like, oh, we got no place to go. Your girlfriend got some money down. from a lawsuit. Yes. You moved to Florida. Yes. Um, are you with her because she got the not lawsuit Absolutely money? not. You I, was with her. Her, I was with her way before the lawsuit even happened, way before Renee even came in the picture. I've been with Josephine, it goes back all the way, like 17 years. Do you love Josephine? I love her with all my heart. Why do you think that uh, Renee and her boyfriend are accusing you? Because they're getting evicted. they got no place to go. So and they they're getting her, evicted. They, wanted, they figured that Josephine would throw me out if they came to her with a story like that, which normally, yeah, but Josephine knows that I would never do nothing like that. So they're... You know, yeah. and this could be true. Um, I know it's but true. But so far, everything, these, you know, these are some pretty crazy stories, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, sounds like a TV oh, show. Josephine's life is crazy with all this. Not this one, but like, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, um, the poor lady's got all these medical issues, and she has to keep dealing with her stressing her out every minute, calling, oh, hey, ma, I need this. Hey, ma, I need that. That's all she says all the time. She's always calling. Hey, Ma, I need this. Hey, Ma, I need so this. They're getting a you had two kids. Step up. Take the responsibility instead of relying on us to support them. Um, the grandson says that uh, you touched him. I believe that he repeats whatever he's told. So he, you, you he's say, repeating. he might have said it, but you're yes. saying he was coached to say it. Definitely. There's no doubt. And do you think Anthony's also in on it? I would hope not. I would How's hope your not. relationship with Anthony? Um, well, he would go to his, he told his mom a few months ago, Mark's like a dad to me. But even so, to be accused, you know. Yeah, I, he, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm to, devastated, really, how he could turn around, you know. To accuse somebody of a, a crime yeah. of child molestation because you're that's losing your That's a serious your accusation. I mean, that's. You know, and I'm not taking it lightly. Um, you took a lie detector test, yes, obviously, I did. right? And you're I was going to take one down there in Florida, but I didn't have the money to pay for one down there. Well, of course, we pay for it when you come well, back, so. Um, my wife, she emailed you. The guys called back two hours later, and here we are. There you go. Um, let's bring back out Renee. <laughs> you molested my son. I, I have no reason son. to up. It is you not about what? money. I'm, yeah. I'm with him yeah, for money. I had another child with yeah. him. We came down here yeah, uh, for a family. We went never. Right. Right. So we don't want to live there anyway. We want to. You use her, and we're going to about you. You use her. You use her. You don't even Hold on. Hold on. You drink oh, alcohol really? every day. Really? Tons of what alcohol. What have you done? You smell okay. like alcohol. You're done. I need a hot tub. I need more tools. No, I need Josie this. got the hot tub for her injuries from the lawsuit. You don't work Anthony West. He runs that business. You're such a psycho. I don't even know about the lawsuit in time. Oh. You dumbass. Yeah, she's doing it. Yeah, dumbass. Now she's going to come back and say I'm pregnant. This is about my son. Why are you trying to put this on me? Because you're the one that did it. I guarantee you. You're the one that put it in Oh, yeah. I put it in his head. You're sick. You're sick. My son said it to me first, and I would believe my son over anything. He did say it. That's why I'm here. Whoever coached him, I'm going to get. I did it. I was molested when I was young. I would never That's do that. I would never do that when I was a My son said it to me first, and I would believe my son over anything. He did say it. That's why I'm here. Whoever coached him, I'm going to get. Did you attack uh, Josephine at one point? We got into an altercation, but it wasn't the way that he's making it. <laughs> okay, but you were arrested. Yes, sir. You were on probation? I, I am now because of the whole okay. thing. Okay. This is the... You but were, this isn't relevant to my son. I'm here because... Well, it is a little bit because when you were talking about Josephine before, you got, like, choked up and stuff. I love her. Yeah, but that was... <laughs> you attacked her. No, I didn't attack her. her. I did not attack her. She attacked me. You are, no, she attacked you jumped on her back. She's I didn't jump on her back. You were there. there. She told you. Let's bring she out Josephine. When my boys, his, he was in their lives when my boys were little. He, okay, he, if well, you know what, let's, like you said, let's keep it to this story. You're all here today because they say that he so touched so your grandson. So I heard my grandson say that. Okay, do you believe that he touched your grandson? No. You don't? No. Why do you think that they're saying it? I don't know why. You know, he, he in his opinion, he feels that they're saying it because they want to move in and want him out. And they want to move do, in your house. Yeah, and I do do a lot for them. And he, he even does a lot. You do a lot for them. Yes, I, I do. I pay your bills for okay, kids. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One room, two kids. Um, 
I like my own space. And, 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 and right. they, we get the room ready. Would you please yes. stop? Listen. All right. Okay. Why? Why do they move in? Want to move in with you because they're being evicted? Right, and I can't pay the rent no more for them. Oh, you're paying, paying the rent. For us. Yes. Anthony was working for her business. Okay, okay. everybody, listen, no, he worked, listen, you stop, pay stop. Sorry. Let me make something perfectly clear. Whether you want to agree with me or not, if you're working for that business, she's paying the bills because with her money. No, she's paying. Stop. I don't stop. Stop. Okay. Stop. okay. No, no, you're benefiting from it, and so are you. You both are. Okay. Um, you know, there's a lot of theories going around. She's coming around now because you got this lawsuit. Um, sounds like he's got it pretty good, too, because of his lawsuit, right? Mm -hmm. Sounds like everybody's benefiting from this lawsuit that you got some financial sentiment, right? Yes. Am I saying something that's crazy to you? No. 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 Sounds like maybe that's the truth here, right? Right. Okay. Um, now, your grandson... Uh, did say it. He did say, he, it. say it. That's why I'm here. Okay. Do you, um, do, you, do you believe he was coached saying it? Uh, possibly yes. Possibly yes. You know Mark for a long time? Right. You love him? Yes. You trust him? Yes. I mean, you trusted him. Yes. You left him alone with the child. Yes. Okay. Did she ever say to you, I don't want Mark watching the child? Never said that's that. A okay. that's a not, not, not that's a that lie. night. That's you know that's a lie. Did your son, son ever tell you that? You know that's a damn no, lie because I don't trust you. Okay. You're, you're disgusting. Lying. I don't trust you around my baby. I do not trust you around my baby. You know that's a lie. When I say stop, you stop. Sorry. Now, there's a story, and I just I have to get into it. It's fine. She was locked up for attacking you. Yes. And she's on probation. For biting an officer. For biting an officer. Yes. Why? What? What happened there? My son did wrong which I don't condone, he uh, called and wanted to make a play for her. And um, she got out of control, and she was a little out of sorts. And, and you know, I, I love her. She so, was mad because your son was screwing around. Yes. And what happened? And we got into it, and she attacked me, and I called the cops. And then when she came, I tried to keep her calm because I didn't want I just You wanted didn't want her, her to get locked right, up. I, I just wanted her removed out of the house, and I didn't want this because this was in front of my two-year-old grandson. And I didn't want him to see it, so, so you the, weren't there. the officer, <laughs> Mark, the officer said, do me a favor, come and get the baby, and because she had the baby in her okay, arms. Okay, stop. Mark, really. <laughs> she, she had years. the baby in the arms, and I went to get the baby because the years. baby, her and the officer were wrestling, and she bit the officer, and I grabbed the baby, and I took him out because I didn't want them, him to see, you know, his mom getting handcuffed. Right. That's still his mommy. Um, now, do you believe that she loves your son? Yes. I mean, two kids. Yes. Can't all be about yes. the money, yes. right? Yes. Would she coach your grandson? Would she, do you, does she strike you as that type of person that might tell your, your grandson to lie about something? Possibly. I mean, this I, is a big, I, big I, lie. I, I, I don't know. That's why I'm here. I'm here for them to both, to, to find out the truth. And if it isn't her, I want to know who, you know, what's going on. I um, want, uh, what, now, what if Mark fails for molestation? Oh, he's out of my house. He can pack his stuff and go. <laughs> Um, what if uh, she fails for coaching? Then, then, then that, that's a little trickier. Then, then we get her help. I still love her. That's still the mother of my oh, grandchildren. Look at that. That's a pretty good deal. Um, let's bring out your son, your boyfriend. Let's bring out Anthony. My son said it to me first. You think I do that? You think I do that? Yeah, actually, I would. I believe yeah, my. I'm real. Yeah. Oh, you love him like a son. You love him like a son. Like... He's good to him. Well, He's good to him. How can you say oh, that, Anthony? Whoever coached him, I'm going to get. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't need to be coached. And you know what? And you know what? If you take this man's side after this, you know what? You will keep him. You're dead to me. The first time we really heard it was when you heard it. I thought you said you heard it a couple of weeks prior to that. Stories change and watch that. I did it. I was molested when I was young. I would never do that when I was a kid. I would never do that when I was a kid. The first time we really heard it was when you heard it. I thought you said you heard it a couple of weeks prior to that. Stories change and watch that. You say you think that he molested your son, right? Yes. I, I, your son has said this. He's said things. To me first. Uh, what did he say to you? He said, Grandpa Mark touched my pee-pee. And he didn't say about anyone else except for him. 
and I would believe my son over anything. And you believe that this actually happened? Yes. Um, I know that he This would... isn't a case of, hey, we don't like Mark. We need Mark out of the picture. Let's make up a story. Exactly. Have my mom throw him out of the house so we can move into her house. No. And you best believe I'm going to believe my son and do as a father would do, protect his son and do the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> when you find out that it's not true on my part, what are you going to do that, Anthony? Anthony, what are you going to do when you find out the truth that I didn't do it? He didn't do it. And somebody coached him. What are you going to do then? I want to. Then I will get behind him and see what's going on. The truth. I will do whatever I can to find out. And I will apologize to you, but until then, it's going to be real hard. If you did do it, whatever, Mark. Because if you did do it, I hope you see your son. See, if it was anybody, we would be here right now. It's not because it's him. It's because it's. And you heard it more than once. Every time you come over, you hear this voice say that. And I know where to be found. I know where to be found. So if it's it's. If, if it was anybody, we'd be here right now, Steve. It is not because it's you. It's, it's because we love him, and that's exactly what the first time we really heard it was when you heard it. When you came over a couple minutes afterwards, we heard it just before you phone. heard it. I thought you said you heard it. You yeah. told yeah. Yeah. No, When he was at the window, you showed up. Else. You showed up no, right you after you told he left. A couple of weeks prior to that. I said, I heard me. it. I told them. Here we go. I said, but changing. I didn't know who it was. I said, I was concerned because he Stores was with Mark. Changing. Watch that. Okay. No, no. Because he was the only guy he was around. And no. he said, Mark, Pinky. I said that to him. He has other, other, other friends, friends that come out. But he, he never comes out his mouth with anybody like that. only one person. Only one person. And it's his name. find out the truth. Exactly. Did you and Mark get along before all this? Here and there, but I, you know, there? I never really liked really? him. You know? Why didn't you like oh, him? Oh, you lied to your mom, saying no one to dad you? Because, you know, incidents and just the way I felt he was treating my mom. You How know? did he treat your mom? Not the best of his capabilities that I thought he could. And the you way ever, they would you argue. you ever attack her? No. Oh, okay. Anthony, you took a lie detector test, right? Yes, sir. We asked you, did you make up the story that Mark touched your son in a sexual manner? You answered no. Did you make up the story that Mark touched your son in a sexual manner so you can get him kicked out of Josephine's house? You said no. Did you coach your son to say, Grandpa Mark touched him? You said no. Did, did your son really tell you, Grandpa Mark touched him in a sexual manner? And you answered yes. And the results for your lie detector test is that you told the truth. Renee took a lie detector test. We asked Renee, did you make up the story that Mark touched your son in a sexual manner? She answered no. Did you make up the story that Mark touched your son in a sexual manner so you can get him kicked out of Josephine's house? You answered no. Did you coach your son to say, Grandpa Mark touched him? You answered no. Did your son really tell you Grandpa Mark touched him in a sexual manner? You answered yes. And Renee also told the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It does make you, with both of them telling the truth, obviously not coaching the little boy to oh, say no, anything, that. Um, that it does, you, you start getting a little queasy about what maybe could have happened. Okay. Thanks. Please better find a person before I do. Uh, Mark, you came here today and we asked you, were you in a relationship with Josephine only because of her settlement money? I guess this is a question that somebody wanted asked. Is that yep. you? Yes. Okay. Uh, he answered no. Are you still in a relationship with Josephine only because of the money she's about to receive? He answered no. Um, and pertaining to those two questions, he told the truth. Have you ever sexually molested Renee and Anthony's son? He answered no. I did it! I was molested when I was young. I would never do that to another kid. Have you ever sexually molested Renee and Anthony's son? He answered no, and he did not tell the truth. What? Why? What? All right, 
guys, that's my baby! No way! Oh, hell no! Oh, my God! No! Let them, let them handle it. Let them handle it. I didn't... My baby, I'll touch you your baby! Sick. I want to take that lie detector again, because that's... No. No. I've, not, I've never touched a kid! Uh, I've never oh. touched a... You God. sure you already got them flopped around or something? I knew it. Do I got them flopped around? I know, I believe I can. I knew it. I never touched. Oh my. See? See? He was a sick one. Yeah, and I think, you know what? I want to have a question on this lie detector thing. He told me some. He told me of their accusation that I'm with her for money. I got all upset about that. Does that throw the test and, off? And he, and did he say that would throw the test off? Did he say? That would throw the toast off. He can give me direct answer. So well, I'll bring him out and he can give you a direct yeah. answer on stage. Where's Let's bring out Dan. <laughs> um, I did, I did, hold on. Every time, every time I do the show, believe me, I hope the results are that the person is telling the truth. Why don't you get off her right now? Get off her. I'm not touching. Okay. This is is I always hope that the accused tells the truth and this didn't happen to a child. Absolutely. Um, in this story where you have people, you know, they're accusing them of coaching, they both passed a lie detector test, independent. Um, he comes on and says, you upset him, Dan, and that's why he, is that what you're saying you failed? Because you yeah, got so upset. With the other stuff so he's he saying me. he failed for he uh, molesting a child. Upset about he was upset about whether my glasses, he was please. in it for love and money. Steve, he lied in the polygraph, he continues to lie. He never asked me that, he never asked if he was upset. We separated the issues. The first test was about molestation. We didn't discuss the money or any other issue until the second test. So he couldn't have been caused him to fail. Son. Mom, I told you. Let's okay. listen to Dan. So I conducted three polygraph exams. In the three polygraph exams, the results were the same. It was a computerized scoring algorithm program that can, my opinion, that deception was indicated when he came into the polygraph room. And it is written in my book, um, leaking deception, basically trying to get him on track, trying to keep him focused so that I can conduct a pretest interview. Uh, that's typical of a person that's burning off nervous energy, which what we call fear of detection. So when I first interviewed him, my forensic assessment was that he was not credible and that he would fail this polygraph. And then when I polygraphed him, the polygraph did confirm my belief. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. How do you feel now? How do you feel now? You're still going to love him and let him sleep next to you? I told you. Your grandson told you. Your grandson, you're kissing a guy that was molested. him. I love you the whole time. The whole time your grandson kept telling his grandmother, my baby's smart. I know my baby. We gave it to you three times. We're not giving it to you anymore. Sick. Okay. Let me get away from me. Move, Anthony. Move her over here. You wanted to believe, and I certainly understand why you wanted to believe. You're in love. It would be hard to imagine that the person you love would do something like that to your grandson. Um, knowing, knowing that they both passed for coaching, which kind of like really verifies the story that we're asking here. They both passed. He fails. I'm just, I want to know what your decision, what, you, what you're going to do going moving down. forward. You're done with them. You're so you're, right you're not going home with them. Josephine, what, what do you want to say to him? This is a man that you spent a lot of years with. I didn't. I didn't. I was when I was young. I would never do that to another kid. I would never do that to another kid. No, it's not. Really? I did not I didn't touch your son. Um, listen, I, I, I didn't I, I, touch your son. Um, Any parent that would feel afraid right now would want something oh, done right now. You know now. what? You're, you're right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You're absolutely no. you're feeling. I, I can't. I understand that. But I'm you know what? Right now. But now you do. You're <laughs> smart. Listen. Baby. You're <laughs> smart. You're smart, and you got to be smart for. Her. You go back and you tell the police what happened, like <laughs> you said. And now you go. Please. 
Jesus. And we'll help you in any way we can. Else. I don't want to so, do this. like you said, that he gets what's coming to him. That's why. Stay back. You want him out, right? I'm right. sick. You know, every hold family on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, when you do something like this, you ma- not only made the little so boy mad. a victim, you make their parents victims. You I made didn't your. Do it. You, what the you get? You know what I get? Oh, not 100%. I get? I get that you're. A fire. That's what I get. And I believe in that over you. Not get the hell off my stage. came here for the answer. Thank you, Steve. Um, it's a hard answer to get. You know what to do now. You started it. Now you got to finish it. Um, I hope everything Amy, works out in your favor. Thank like... you for being on the show. Um, I hope this helps. Good luck to you. You can take the best thing. I want you to start off. Um, um, the pressure that you must feel every day from everybody. Um, I have a good heart. You do. It seems like you do have a very good heart. Um, but people are using you on, on so many different levels, and I'm not going to get into it here. You know it. Um, how would you ever know that he would do something like this? You wouldn't. Right. You're a good woman. I'm sure you love your son and your grandson just like anybody else does. Um, did he ever bring this up that he was a victim of molestation to you before? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, and as you know, maybe you do, maybe you don't, that a lot of times they turn into the predators themselves. That's a fact. I, I've heard that. Um, unfortunately, that might be the case in this situation. I hope you're strong enough to stay away from him, uh, to lie about this and to keep going on, and the fact that even before the test, they felt like he was lying, and then conclusively with the test. There's a lot of things that you might want to forgive in life. That's one of them that you, you can't. You, you can't. Don't. You don't. Because you're... He's that my grandson's innocent. Yeah. Um, Cheating, you can forgive. <laughs> there's, like I said, there's other things you can forgive. But this, though, you have damaged somebody and possibly for the rest of their lives. Um, I wish you all the best of luck. Uh, I believe Thank in the you. short time that I met you that you're a good woman. Thank you. Who's been put in a very difficult position. And I hope it works out for the best for you. Thank you. And your, and your Thank family. Thank you so much. Thank you. You want to go with a woman. When you started sleeping with Earl, did you know he was married? I knew he was married. I'm in love with Earl. Now she has a child that she says you're a father. I don't think so. He said he can't have kids because he drank and smoke. Earl? Are you sure that he's the dad? I'm 100% sure he's the father. father. I'm hoping that I'm not. They were both too young to have sex. Tell it into the camera so every young person out there at 15 years old thinking about having sex. 15 and 16 years old is too young. Really, I mean, it just happened. So you only had sex with her one time? One time. Do you believe that uh, this young man is the father of your grandson? I do believe he is the father. My brother passed away seven months ago. A few months after he died, his ex-girlfriend Elizabeth had a baby. Could anyone else be the father? No. That baby does look like a Mexican. That's Jamie. You know that, Catherine. There's a one of y'all making my son happy right now. You're saying that she was cheating on your brother? She's a slut. What if this little boy is the only thing that you have left from your brother? Then I want to be in his life.
When Andrea married Earl, she thought she had the man of her dreams. But then she started receiving messages and calls from a girl named Leticia, saying she was pregnant with Earl's baby. Oh. Earl says he doesn't think the child is his, but only the DNA test will tell for sure. Take a look. I have a two-week-old baby. I know it's Earl's baby, but he's married to another woman. Ever since we've been together, he's been lying to me. I didn't know he was separated from his wife, Andrea. He told me that they weren't together. It just pissed me off because he shouldn't have been back and forth between me and her. You know, he really don't know who he want to be with. I'm tired of it. I was in love with him, but I don't want nothing to deal with him anymore. I just want to prove that he's my baby's dad so he can own up. I don't like his wife at all. I hate her. She's harassed me on Facebook, talking about he don't want me. He just used me, and the baby ain't his. And when I read that, that kind of hurt my feelings. But he thinks it's funny, but it's not funny at all. He shouldn't have used me at all. He should have at least told me the truth. I'm dealing with this on my own, and it really hurts me, because I really was in love with this guy. He promised that he was going to be with me. And he promised me that he wasn't going to be with his wife anymore. I'm just hurtful right now because I have this child and I'm taking care of the child by myself. I need help. I can't do this alone. The baby needs a father. I want her to have a father in her life. Your husband had an affair with a woman? Yes. How did you find out? I found out from her. She, she, she told me on Facebook. She's... Um, which is how you want to find out if your husband's having an affair. Uh, you get a message from a woman. What did, exactly did she say? Well, she told me that um, she was having, that she was with him and she wanted to see was I still with him. And I told her, yeah, I, went, I am You're still married. with him. I'm married to him. I said, so what you mean? She was like, um, I was with him or whatever. I said, okay, well, he's right here with me. I said, you want to talk to him? And she didn't say nothing to him on the phone. When I put him on the phone, it like she had like she was shocked. Um, do you believe that her baby is your husband's? No. It's a little bit of possibility that it's there because he did have sex with her. Right. Well, that makes it a big possibility. Um, <laughs> how is this situation affecting your marriage? It affected it a lot. Like when she was pregnant, she was harassing me. She talking about some I was harassing her. She was harassing me. I had... <sighs> Over 29 private calls from her alone. She told me, um, B, this is a song that we played when we was together. And she was playing songs on the, and everything. I'm like, are you serious, girl? I said, what is wrong with you? You was in love with a married man. What about man? what she says on that uh, tape piece that he says he was going to leave you and be with her? He told me, I don't know nothing about that. He told me that he did not want to be with her that he wanted to be with me. Did he explain why he slept with her? No, he told me that he met her. Actually, he met her off Gmail. And <laughs> they told me that I had a Gmail account on my phone. And I said, I don't have a Gmail account on my phone. I called in and said, Earl I said, Earl I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, I know he ain't made no, face, no Gmail off my phone. So they said that he did. And that's how he met her. And she said that's how they met and woo, woo, woo. But I'm like, you knew that he was married. So, but what is creating an e I mean, even if you create an uh, email account, you still have to do something to engage somebody else. Yeah. What did he do? He, he was talking. He found her, and he was talking to her, and she was talking to him back. She told him, he told her that he was married, and she still talks to him anyway. But isn't more of the responsibility his than hers? Yeah. And are you mad at him at all? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm actually mad at him. He already know I'm mad. We didn't argue about this plenty of times. Oh, I'm sure you have. The um, only reason why I'm so mad at her because she called me all type of names. And harassing me. And harassing me. Okay. Um, and that's fair. What will you do if he is the father of her child? Like, all of a sudden, you're married, your husband I, is having children with other women. That's what I said. I don't know if I'm going to stay with him or not. I ain't going to be able to do it. Like right. I told him, because that's too much. Me and her don't get along. And you're hoping today that um, that that's not that's not his. Yes, and he said it's not because he said he can't have kids because he's drinking smoke. That's why he can't have kids. 
I said that's the dumbest thing I ever seen in my I, life. Yeah, I've been known to uh, engage in a drink or two and smoke a cigar once in a while, and I had two. Um, <laughs> let's meet Leticia. Girl, please. Girl, please. Are you girl? Give me a pinch, my love. Okay, when you started sleeping with Earl, did you know he was married? I knew he was married. He told me. So I said, then he told stop. me. Okay, let me talk. I didn't know y'all was sleeping with Earl. You knew that. You knew that because I told you that. You knew that because I told you that. He didn't tell me that. He told me y'all wasn't together. He told you. He told you. Okay, well, I was like, what are you over there lying? Okay, hold on. What up? What up? He did tell you he was married. He did tell me he was married. Yes, he did. And you were still sleeping with him. Yes, I was 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 sleeping with him. And why, why is that? I'm in love with Earl. Well, what made yeah, you... Yeah, I want to. What I don't care. Hold so on. So how you okay. in love with a baby man? Like I said, okay. like okay. your ugly head. Like, girl, <laughs> okay. who you talking to? Get out of here. You got it in your life. Hold on. Whatever. Um, why did you fall in love with Earl? Because he was a nice person. He was a nice guy. Could anybody else be the father of your child? It might be a possibility. There's a possibility that somebody else... Now she has a child, and she says you're the father. I don't think so. Earl? What did I tell you? Are you sure that he's dead? I'm 100% sure he's the father. So you only had sex with her one time? One time. Do you believe that uh, this young man is the father of your grandson? I do believe he is the father. Now she has a child, and she says you're the father. I don't think so. Earl? What did I tell you? You're hoping today to show that Earl is the father? Yes. Okay, let's bring out Earl. You told this girl you love her? Yeah. Why did you tell her that? I did love Letitia in the beginning. How did you know her when I was here? How did but you love we her? Had, we had separated, so I'll tell I love you. So what did I tell you? Uh, how you doing, Earl? Hello, Steve. Um, you, you know, your wife's upset. She just ran off stage. See, she, uh, she um, blaming it all on me. You were separated when you started fooling around with Letitia? Yes. Um, and what did you separate with your wife over? She broke up with me. She broke up with, well, you're married. You can't really break well, up. Well, separated. She yeah. separated from Why me. Why did she separate from you? I don't have no idea. You, you just, she said, I want to separate. You said, okay. <laughs> you didn't tell yeah. me that. You told me y'all were together. We were separated. You didn't tell me that. And you had no idea why you separated. Was... No. Okay. Um, and then you meet her and you, you liked her and you started sleep with her. Now she has a child and she says you're a father. I don't think so. <laughs> Do you have feelings for her? A little bit. What kind? You got feelings for her? Are you serious? I got the feelings for her. How did you do that when I'm just with your I don't have a got feelings for this bitch. I'm still in love with her. Are you serious? Hey, hey, be quiet. How can you do that? <laughs> your wife is very upset. I understand. Yeah, but I mean, maybe you want to comfort her. She ain't gonna wanna be bothering me right now. Well, it's probably hard for a woman to hear that her husband has feelings for another woman. But I only have a little feelings for her but right now. But you have some. Some, but not a whole lot. You should have none. What you mean? You should have none for that trick. What you I mean? No, I ain't no trick, bitch. You trick, bitch. You trick, bitch. Why would you don't know me like that? Whatever. You only Do you want to be the father of the baby? I do in a way, and then I don't. So, because in some way, you do. In some way, I do. In some way, I don't. And why do you hope that you are in a way? Did you tell her you can't have kids because you smoke yeah. a drink? Yeah. <laughs> Who do you want to be with? Andrea. Your wife. Your wife. 
And do you want to be the father? Yes. Okay. How the f want to be the? What the hell that might is be the this? First one. What type of f you on? Earl, you're not the father. That's good. Um, that's good. Really. That's good. Really? Really? That's good. Really? Um, now you go find your real baby daddy. That's good. If, uh, thanks for being on the show. If there's somebody else you'd like to bring on, and, and you know, if you want to clear up who the, the paternity of your child, we'd love to have you back. Thanks you for being on the show. Like 10 people. Um, Obviously, this probably helps to some degree, right? The one thing I am concerned about, there seems to be a lack of caring for you. Yeah. Do you sense that? Mm-hmm. Are you going to... I'm not saying you're a bad guy. Maybe you're just not emotionally invested in her. Is that true? No. That's not true. No. You are emotionally invested in your wife. Yeah. Can you show some emotion right now? I don't even want it. No. 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 I don't want that. I don't want that. No. You want to do like this all the way? Yeah. I don't want that. And if, and, if, and if you really want things to work with her, I think you need to show her a little more caring, and you need maybe not to sleep around with other women. Okay? Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Are you sure that he's the dad? I'm 100% sure he's the father. So you only had sex with her one time? One time. They were both too young to have sex. It's all in it to the camera. So every young person out there at 15 years old thinking about having sex. 15 and 16 years old is too young. Brandon says four years ago he had sex with his friend Stephanie out of boredom. <laughs> they were both teenagers at the time. A year later, Stephanie gave birth to a baby boy, and she believes Brandon is the father. But Brandon claims he didn't find out about the child until three years later, and he denies being the father. Stephanie and her mother want Brandon to step up and be a father, but first, he needs to know for sure. I've had sex many, many times, <laughs> but never really for the reason of boredom. It just happened. It just happened. Like, I don't know what else How did it just happen? We was bored. <laughs> how, like, old, how, how old were you at the time? I was 15. 15? Yes, sir. That's pretty young. It is. And after that, what happened? Um, after we had sex, I had... So you only had sex with her one time? One time. You didn't start dating after that? No, sir. We were, like, really good friends. We went to high school together. So after the sex, you stayed friends... We stayed friends, but I... And you never I, wanted to have sex again? I was, I was already living in Florida. Oh, so you moved away. Right. Yeah, I went back to Florida, and I had got in trouble at the time, and I had got incarcerated for about two years. And when I came... As a teenager? Yes, sir. Before 17? I was 16 years so old. So what, did you go to, like, a juvenile uh, I went to a center? juvenile level 10 program. Okay. And then when I got home, you know Facebook was the new thing? Facebook? Facebook. <laughs> Because when, when I was 15, it was more on the MySpace type thing. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so... What, what else, old timer? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I made that, my friends had got in contact with me, and so did she. On MySpace? On Facebook. Oh, on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, I have something important I want to talk to you about. And how many years later is this? This is... Two, two and a half years later. Two and a half years later. She contacts you on Facebook. And then I give her my phone number. She calls me and she wants to talk. And she's like, well, I have a child. And I think, I, I think you're the father. I know you're the father. And it was like, but you were with somebody at the time. She was. Yeah, she was dating somebody at the time that that happened. What is your thought when she says, hey, you have a son? Well, at the time, I was like, I was in a relationship the whole time I was incarcerated, and she stayed with me the you whole time. You were in a relationship while you were incarcerated? Well, before, and then I got incarcerated, and okay. she stayed there the whole time. Oh, I thought well, there was somebody you met in there, but okay. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> but 
I'm confused. That's all. So somebody you met, they stayed with you while you were incarcerated. Right. You got out. You're still in a relationship. Now uh, she calls you up and says, hey, you got a son. Now you're like, oh, my God, I got this new girl. Yeah, it, it ruined everything. Then, you know, just being released, it was like a new change for me, and I had changed myself. But I got a job. I got in school. I kept talking to her. I kept talking to her son. I was playing that father figure role of like, and then it got to the point where there was more feelings to me of the fact that like, I need to know. I can't just sit here and you tell me I'm the dad, but you were with somebody at the time. So you want to know if it's your son. Cause right. now you're, because that's like, that's you're getting feelings for him. Right. He's, he's four years old. And that's like, that's four years that I missed out on that. I won't get Have back. Have you ever met him? No, sir. Just talking on the phone. I, I, I've only talked to him on the phone. I've never seen him in person. When I went up there to see her and uh, even my family so this members. Is, this is a picture of the little boy? Yes, sir. So you've never met him? No, sir, not at all. Now you're 20 years old. Yes, sir. Would you be ready to be a father at 20? Right now, I mean, I'm not, but if I have to be, right. I will. And that's an honest I'm not, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not going to run from the fact of, you know, if I have a son. Because this, this is the thing. If she told me that, you know, right when I got out with the mindset of what I had and, you know, oh, well, I got a son, I could have just easily disappeared. You know what I'm saying? If she couldn't get in contact with me for two years, what makes you think, oh, you get in contact with me for 10 minutes? You think you can get in contact with me another 10 minutes when I was just gone for two years? Right. I could have just left, but I didn't. And what happens if it's not your son? If it's not my son, I'll be relieved because the fact that I didn't miss out on that time. And if I have a kid, I want to be there the whole time. So what are you hoping that you are the father or you're not the father? I'm hoping that I'm not just because I'm not ready. I mean, I'm still in school and I'm, I'm still taking classes and doing stuff. So you're I need kind it. of mixed up. up your right. Now, I have to ask you, you're not bored right now, are you? No, sir. Okay. All right. Are Let's you bring, bored? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm very excited. Um, <laughs> let's bring out Stephanie. <laughs> Years. I have been a mom. I have been the mom. I have been a father. I've been playing the father role. I was locked you know up what? for two that years. Was your fault. Okay. That was your fault. But but where were you at for the two years? You didn't get in contact with with any of my family members. I didn't know any of your family members. But if you found me on Facebook, why couldn't you find them? Because come on. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. If you could not, if you could find me you, after a week know, of me being free. I don't know your mom. But they got the same last name as me. They got the same last name as me. You could do, you could have um, just easily typed it up I, and just can I, seen. Can I ask you a question? Why are you so mad at him? Because he has kept saying he's going to come up, come up and come up and meet him and do a DNA test and it's all empty promises. He comes up with every excuse in the book. Do you believe that uh, this young man is the father of your grandson? I do believe he is the father. Brandon? My brother passed away seven months ago. A few months after he died, his ex-girlfriend Elizabeth had a baby. Could anyone else be the father? No. Do you believe that uh, this young man is the father of your grandson? I do believe he is the father. Brandon? You know how many times we have set up for you to come up to do the DNA test and you come up with an excuse? Well, but here, let's be fair. You slept with him when you were 15 years old. Yes, I did. Okay, not serious relationship at all. No, we were good friends. Out of boredom, right? <laughs> I had just broken up with, you know, right, my Right, but you said you were sitting around, you got bored, let's do it. It really, I mean, it just happened. Why not? It's not the... <laughs> yeah. I keep doing it, it just happened. How come that never happens to me? It. I just I don't mean... happen to fall into sex. <laughs> I mean, I was attracted to him, yes. Right. I would hope so. I mean, I wanted it to happen, yes. Right. But at 15, probably shouldn't be, shouldn't be having sex no. at 15. No. Because this is what happens. It could happen. Yes. And, and it then only you takes have one time. One time. And that's all it took. Now, okay. anybody else, could, could the other guy that you just broke up with possibly to be the father? No, there's no but way. But you waited around for nine months did with you, him for on. him to play that. Did you no. sleep with the other guy? Yes, I did. So but it's, there is a possibility. Th there could be a very slight possibility, but it was only a couple days after we had sex that, I, sex that I had morning sickness. And I didn't get back together with that guy until two weeks later. Oh, and, and then, then you, he, was he ever on the impression that he was the father? 
I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Just, exactly. Uh, That's my point, man. Yeah, yeah. okay. But, so, but here, listen. Are you sure that he's the dad? I'm 100% sure. 100%. No. Okay. No, not uh, at all. Not at all. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> it's not happening. Your mom is here. Let's bring her out. Hi. <laughs> Sit down. Both of you. And you need to move away from her. <laughs> <laughs> Honest to God, sitting backstage listening to you, I hope you're not the father hey of this man, baby. Hey, man, how many times have I called that phone to talk to that child and you ain't let me? I how have many never times? answered the phone to talk to you. You lying because I called that phone. Oh, he's on a computer. Oh, well, can I talk to him? No, Stephanie's not here. You cannot talk to him. That's No, it's Because I've seen him on the phone with you. Yeah, when she's there, it's she no, gives him the phone. she's not there. She, man, when, it has when, never been, it's family. never Mama, been a point Mama, where I've talked um, to him. With, with, with one of y'all without on. her. Okay. It's got to be tough having your 15-year-old daughter get pregnant, right? Yes. It's not something that, as a parent, you would want. No, but it was accepted and dealt with. Right. You got no choice. Um, is she a good mom? She is. When... And, and again, she is. I think we all understand... How good can you be when okay. you're a teenager trying to finish school and everything else, That's right? That's it, exactly. And in a way too, too young to even know everything it entails. Let's forget about him for a second. Um, it's, 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 it takes a lot to be a parent. And at 15, you're just not equipped mentally, uh, you know, just all the things that you need life experience to... Hell, I was in my 30s when I had my first child, and I was scared to death. It's I was hard. 24 when I it's had hard. her, and I wasn't ready. He's probably not ready to handle that situation or even begin to deal with something like that, right? He just went through his, you know, involvement with the legal system, and he's, and he has a fact that someone to just get out and try to step up, that's something you should have just respected, period. I never disrespected you. Okay. okay, hold on. What do you want? Do you, um, and aside that you're, you know, you, maybe you don't like him or whatever, what do you hope It's happens? not that I okay. don't like it. What do you hope happens today? Okay, first of all, I want to make the statement. They were both too young to have sex. Tell it to the camera. So every young person out there at 15 years old thinking about having sex. 15 and 16 years old is too young. And if you want to have a baby at that age, you need to stop and think that your life stops, that you stop living your life for you at that point. And it, you start living for your child. <laughs> because he wants to know, hey, you know, I'm talking to the little boy. Never met him, but hey, I'm starting to develop feelings. He has every right to know because she was dating somebody else at the time. Am I the father? But he got incarcerated a month after I got back it together It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So he was not then there the whole pregnancy. With, but it doesn't but matter if they are there or not. Too. Okay. Do you believe that uh, this young man is the father of your grandson? Sam, nope. Nope. The, the my nope. grandson was a few months old when she finally confided in me that she had slept with him the but one time. But do you time. believe he's the father? And the second I saw his picture, it all made sense. Okay. I do believe he is the father. Brandon, you're not the father. <laughs> We found out. I sat here and I played the role to be a father when I got out. I told you and I told you and I, I, I told you I wanted a DNA test. You kept saying you were 100% sure, but you're not 100% sure until you get the DNA test. And now that we're here and we found out, man, you cannot sit here and tell anybody that I have not tried to be there. Because I have. It doesn't matter. I never said it doesn't you matter. Okay. It, okay. Doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, but this is a friendship, no. too. Okay. This is also a friendship. Are you still friends? Yes. I've known her for, for six, seven years now. All right. All right. That, okay, I'm not the father, but she's still my friend. Now, you, you kind of got something on your plate now. You got to track down this other guy. If you want to. No, I, mean, I don't. Uh, but you probably don't. But doesn't he, have a, uh, doesn't he have a right to know that he has a son in the world? No. He doesn't have the right to know? He's, he was an awful person. That's why yeah, he's in jail. You, 
He was an awful person that you were sleeping with. Yeah, people change because I changed also. I got back in school. I got my GED. You know when what? I that's was in there. that's your decision, though. Everybody um, changes. You came here because you thought that he was the father. He's not. But he's saying he's still going to be your friend. Is that correct? Yes, that's and correct. And she should know that. If she I'm, needs I'm, some I'm help, you'll, she can turn to you. Yes. You got your mom in your life. She's got her head on right. And you got a good friend in you that, you know, he's saying, hey, no matter what the outcome is, he's still going to be your friend. And that's, that's a good thing, right? Good luck to you. Thank you. Stay straight. Yes, sir. Good luck to you. All right, thank you. It's all right. That baby does look like a Mexican. That's Jamie. You know that, Mexican. Catherine. Neither one of y'all are making my son happy right now. You're saying that she you was cheating so. on your brother? What? What if this little boy is the only thing that you have left in your brother? Then I want to be in it for all. James passed away seven months ago. And shortly after his death, his girlfriend Elizabeth gave birth to a baby boy. But James' family doesn't believe he is the father. And his sister Catherine says that James thought Elizabeth was cheating before he died. And he did not think the baby was his. Take a look. My brother passed away seven months ago. A few months after he died, his ex-girlfriend Elizabeth had a baby. Before he died, when he got mad, he'd say that he thought she cheated on him. I mean, he drove an 18 wheeler, he was never home. He didn't believe it was his. I'm here to see if this is my brother's child or not. I've seen pictures of the baby, and it kind of looks like Jamie, but I'm not convinced that it's his until I know for sure. I haven't seen the baby because I'm scared to get attached. I don't want to get attached to something and then find out that she was cheating on my brother and it's not Jane. I want the baby to be his because if it is his, then we have a piece of him here. I miss my brother. He was my best friend. I mean, he was there for me for everything. He wanted to be the dad. He loves kids. He hated that he had suspicions that he wasn't the dad. If the baby is Jamie's, then I do want to be a part of his life and Elizabeth's life, but he had doubts, so why wouldn't I? Oh, at first it was, oh, they know 100% it's Jamie's and everything. Catherine is the one that's starting that it's not his and they believe it. They have not, Jamie's mom and dad were at the hospital when I had Jamie. And Catherine has never laid eyes on my son. She's seen pictures, that's it. She's never laid eyes on him. She calls him a Mexican and everything else. That baby's not Mexican, you can clearly see that. How about your relationship with James, how was that? Me and Jamie got along great. We had our fights and arguments, but a couple don't. How, how long were you with him? I was with him for 10 months. For 10 months. And how uh, soon after, when you were together, did you get, become pregnant? Uh, Jamie asked me to marry him in December, and I got pregnant February 1st. I found out I was pregnant. Um, and how old is your child now? He's three months old now. So he never met his child? No, he, he never. Um, in May, Jamie's birthday was in May. In May, um, Jamie actually, we went to the hospital for my first ultrasound, and Jamie got to hear his heartbeat. He said that was the best birthday present he ever had. That was his only child, and he was excited. He was going to name him after his little brother that had passed away at three months old. Um, and how did James die? He drove an 18-wheeler. He was found hung in his truck. They ruled it as a suicide. It was not a condo, so there's no possible way that you can hang yourself in a truck that's not a condo. Um, and I'm sorry for your loss. Whatever um, the situation is there, it's, it's tough to lose somebody that you love. What did James, James's mother say the first time she saw the baby? She was at the hospital. Um, she came in as soon as I had him. She came in and she walked out and Jamie's daddy came in and Jamie's daddy held him and he said, he looked at me, started crying. He said, the hardest thing I've ever done is hold my son's baby knowing that he'll never hold him. And he knew instantly, he said that that was Jamie's baby. Well, Jamie's mama started talking and saying that it was not his baby because he has black hair. And, and James had what color hair? A dirty blonde. Dirty blonde. They started in as soon as he was born. Catherine wouldn't even come to the hospital. Nothing. 
And as soon as she found out he and had Catherine hair, is his sister. His sister, Mary Catherine. Yes. And, what, and what do you think about her? Uh, she's a trifling whore. I just, just point blank. She sits here, and the only way she says that she's her brother's best friend, me and Jamie were together 10 months. We went and got her one time. The only other time she called, Jamie ignored her phone calls because she was calling for money. And I want to be sensitive with this question. Okay. Could anyone else be the father? No. They're going to get what they want. On and the you're saying case. that your son looks just like the father. He looks identical to him. Even his own family will tell you that. Um, so what do you hope happens today? Listen, you suffered a loss. I hope they your, get their DNA Your son is never going to get to meet his father. He'll never get to meet Tragic. his father. But as grandparents, his grandparents should step up and be there for their grandson, knowing that you know that's the only thing left of their son. But who knows if that's going to happen or not. We're going to bring out Catherine, who, uh, you know, you don't get on the best of terms with. I don't think very highly of her, but uh, let's bring her out. Okay. Not that's Jamie's like baby. Bitch, you know good no, well. No, no. That's Jamie's baby. Hey, you, you know like that, Mexican. Catherine. You're just jealous Jamie because you can't have a baby. baby. Do you want a baby? Jamie didn't even talk to you. What if this little boy is the only thing that you have left from your brother? Then I want to be in it for us. He's a beautiful little boy. Um, why do you doubt that that's not your brother's? The baby has black hair. Has hair from its neck to its lower back. I'm sorry, most white men do not have black hair from their neck to their back. But you're judging a baby on, on, on hair follicles? What color is your I'm daddy's hair, I'm judging the baby by what color is your his mama, hair? too. And what is she? Mama. Yeah, his, his mama. mama. Okay. Just because you'll sleep with anything in that area, really? anything, don't mean I will. You're saying that she you was cheating so? on your brother? Yeah. With who? I mean, do you know? Did you see her sleeping with anybody else? I know of two people that she could have been sleeping with. Well, oh, could really, have Catherine? or did. There's a big you were leap. Two hours I'm away. I can't tell you that she did cheat on him. I'm not exactly. there. I'm not a fly on the but, wall. But why would you say that she possibly did cheat? Because she's a slut. You really. We're kind of just being mean to each other, right? No, that's being nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's really being, that's nice. being nice. What I'm saying is, what if this little boy is the only thing that you have left from your brother. Then I want to be in his class. But you know what? I want to be a part of his right? class. I have not seen this baby yet. You never held the baby, right? No. Is, I'm just curious, is the baby here? Yes, he's here. Okay. What if this comes back? And I'm only going to take it from this young woman's word that she was in love with the guy, she got pregnant, she loses him in tragic circumstances, and all she has now is this little guy. And really, if, that's, if she's telling the truth, then all you have of your brother is that little guy right there. I understand that. So all this uh, name calling, really kind of bad name calling too, by the way, I don't see how that, that solves any problems. I don't know how that soothes the pain of losing a loved one. I, I would say, you know what? I don't like you, but you know what? You gave me something of my brother, and let's concentrate on that. I've asked him all and time. And I will. They want me. I will. You will. I will do that. I will apologize to her for everything if that turns out to be my brother's baby. And if the DNA says it's not your brother's baby, then? Then I'll hate her for the rest of her life. Okay. For putting all of us okay. through this. Okay. okay. Let's bring up Betty. Elizabeth, I told you when we come down, it wasn't about hate. Yes, it wasn't about hate. I said, oh, my, she told. Don't. That's what it's about. I said, Everything the day he was said. born, this ain't my And time. you always said it was, you would be there, but, too. No. I, you? you always said you would be there. Uh, and guess what? You didn't. The day you left the hospital was the last time I so saw you. So I'm going to what? Uh, I'm going to come where? To people's house that don't want me there? No. 
Why can't you pick up a phone and call? Uh, darling, how are you doing? I have all Something. the text messages. What I, we can focus on you a know. lot of if I mean, this... don't ask questions. Okay, okay. okay. I'm going to ask a couple. Is that okay? Yes, sir, okay. that's fine. Um, again, sorry for the loss of your son. I can't imagine how horrific no, that was. No, you can't. No, I can't. And I hope I never get to experience anything like that. The only good thing that may become of this tragedy, though, is that your son did have a child before he passed away. Right. Right. Which was what he wanted. Do you believe it's your grandson? Yes, sir, I do. You I do. see Ray Sandwich. Yes, you, sir. You do, Steve. Yes, sir. This is for my did son you, to Did support your son ever baby. come to you and say, Mom, I doubt if My son came to me and her out of anger. Out of he anger, my son said over things. Over a phone call, and I told him I and was leaving because that. he was talking to his ex. I never said she cheated. Am I saying DNA because she's a trashy hoe? No, that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm saying DNA <laughs> right. for DNA, my, no, DNA for my ends story. the story. All I want is for that to be my son's baby. Yeah. Okay. And I hope it works out for you. Betty, you are the grandmother. Baby's life, there's nothing no, you can do. Don't. I'm the only hey, parent that baby has hey, right now. Listen, you're not, neither one of y'all are making my son happy right now. You should be the joy. Please, please. Have a make him happy. He knows don't, that, baby. Y'all, please don't. There's, here's a, this is a moment you listen to mom. Let the mistakes be in the past. Let her go on to be an aunt in that child's life. Make, Let her go on to be a happy. grandmother. This is not about me nor you. This exactly. is about the This is about. about this but you're going to have to grow up and be an adult. So are you. Okay. Is, is it the... That's the only thing you gave me this list. Is, is, is it all right if she goes back and holds her uh, nephew for the first time? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh, God. Look at me. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm here today to prove to my wife that I am the father of our four-year-old son. She's back and forth, back and forth. One time he's not mine, the other time he is mine. And before the show, you took a DNA test. I'm going to prove to her I am the father. You want full custody of your son, right? She pretty much admitted that she was doing cocaine while she was pregnant. She could have killed our son. You are not taking my baby from me again. Did you do drugs while you were pregnant? It was somebody else's cocaine. If she was going to choose drugs over our child, I don't have any use for it. I took your lie detector test. I took your drug test. I'm going to prove to you today I did not do any of those things that you said I did. Could Michael be the father? I have a pretty good feeling this father guy. And the results for your DNA test. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Michael. Michael, you called. Why? Steve, I'm here today to uh, prove to my wife that I am a uh, father of our four-year-old son and to uh, get some answers to some questions. Why would there be a question whether you're the father to your son or not? Well, it all started about 16 months ago. I picked up my son. I got a call at 1230 in the morning that I need to come get my car from and the police is, department. This is your son on the monitor? Yes, that's my son, Gabriel. Now, how old is Gabriel? He just turned four. And I got a call at 1230 from the police department. I need to come get my car. And when I went to go get my car, I found out my wife had been arrested for possession of cocaine. Was that surprising? Was that something? I never, I never had any idea that she was using cocaine. So you get a call in the middle of the night, 
come get your car, you go down there and you found out your wife was arrested for cocaine, possession of cocaine. Yes. You take her home and what does she say about it? I didn't take her home. She was in jail. I didn't get her out. Eventually she was bonded out. You didn't bond her out? No. If she, if she was going to choose drugs over our child, I don't have any use for her. She needs to stay in jail. <laughs> So how long had you been with your wife? Uh, we were together almost five years. And never saw her do drugs? No, I worked long hours anywhere between 65 and 70 hours a week. So most times she was there by herself. And lots of times she would take our son and go spend a couple weeks at her house. Which at the first time, when at first she just seemed like innocent visits with her family. But after all this stuff come up, then I found out what, what actually what she was doing is she was going up there and leaving our child with her she was out till 5, 6 in the morning. It took her actually getting arrested on drug charge for all her friends and everybody to start approaching me with, well, we know she'd been doing cocaine six months before we ever got married. So she had been doing cocaine and drugs the whole time you've been together, but you really didn't know because she wasn't doing it around you? Yeah, she wasn't doing it around me. I don't do it. And I worked because... And you worked a lot, so it gave her time to do it? Yeah. So you don't, you don't bind her out when she gets locked up for... Possession of cocaine. No, I left her in there. I told her there's no way in hell I was getting her out. And uh, wh what was the response to that? Well, when she finally got out, that's when she starts that uh, my son's not mine. One time he's not mine, the other time she is, he is mine, and she's back and forth, back and forth. It's like when, when I want him, then he's not mine. But then whenever she wants him, it's... Oh, yeah, he's, it's, she can't make up her mind either way. She's back and forth. So once you discovered the drug use and you didn't bond her out of jail, you feel like all of a sudden now she starts springing, oh, by the way, he's not your son. Yeah, because after, uh, after she got out of jail, I went and had a mercy protective order placed that kept her away from both me and my son. Because of the drug use? Yes, because I don't think that uh, at the time he wasn't quite three. I don't think that a three-year-old child should be, should be exposed to being around drug dealers and use of cocaine and anything else such as that. When you hear that, that your little boy might not be your biological child, what do you feel? What are you thinking? It was the first time I cried since the day that my son was actually born. Here you are, you've been raising a child for almost three years, and all of a sudden she said he's not yours. You know, that, that's got to hurt. But I'm the only daddy he's ever had. Well, I'm going to give you credit because during a difficult time, you said, hey, I'm not getting you out of jail. You pick cocaine over our family, then you can sit in there, and you're doing the right thing by getting protection of orders. You're handling things the right way. That's guts, and you're doing good things for your family and for your son. <laughs> Before all this, I, I'm like looking at your life like maybe a bomb exploded, because here you're, you're a good working guy, you have a son, you think you have a good wife, you don't know anything about us, and then this all blows up, and it's changed your life. But before this all happened, was, was your wife a good mother? She was a good mother. But that all changed whenever she chose drugs over our child. You know. And did she eventually ever come out and say, yes, I've been doing drugs? Well, after I took, after I took our son away from her, that's when she, you know, if you lose your child because you're using drugs, you think that would promote, you know, you wouldn't want to get better. But no, she just got worse. She started go moving on from cocaine, she started smoking crack, doing every, every type of drug she can get her hands on. There was a time for a five-week period where she didn't even call her son. This thing, I mean, you, you're living this normal life, and all of a sudden now, you know, we're not talking about when well, she had a drink or a puff of marijuana or whatever. You're saying... Cocaine, smoking crack, doing all this, it, 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 does it just blow your mind that it would get to those levels? Well, it's like, how can I not see the signs? But like I said, I wasn't around her that much. I would work long hours, and if okay, I'm not so, seeing so it... so you're saying when you're going to work, you're waking up, you're coming home, she's acting sober, you never ran across any crack pipes in your house, no. you're not coming across little, you know, tinfoil packets of cocaine... Nothing like, oh, whose is this? Oh, my friend left it there. Nothing like that. I don't think she was doing it while I was at work. I think she was doing it whenever she would take the trip to the house. That's when she was doing it. Because she, doing she was it? up there with all her friends. Now, you, you want full custody of your son, right? Yes. 
have you taken any steps to find out if you are the real father, if, he, if the, your son's your biological son? I contact the Steve Wilco Show. Okay. <laughs> You are not taking my baby from me again. Did you do drugs while you were pregnant? It was somebody else's cocaine. Could Michael be the father? I have a pretty good feeling it's another guy. And the results for your DNA test. And before the show, you took a DNA test? Yes. And we'll get to those results. Um, and obviously, you're hoping that you are the biological father. I want to prove to her I am the father. And I named him. What, what would happen, let's say, and I'm rooting for you, and I'm hoping these tests will come back that you're the father, but what would happen if these tests come and they, it shows that you're not the father, you're not the biological father? I'm still going to be his daddy. You can't turn your back on a child. And so all this now, you feel like instead of trying to get her son back, trying to get your son back, that she's went the opposite way, that she's even gone into more drug use, harder drug use. And have you ever confronted her on that? Yeah. And what does she say about it? She's like, you took my child away from me. You took away my world. Yeah, because you were using drugs. So if, you're, if I take away because you're using drugs, stop using drugs. It's that simple. You know, don't move on to something harder. Do you think she was doing drugs around your son? Well, I asked her because uh, my son was born premature, almost six weeks early. He only weighed a little over four pounds. And I asked her one time, I was like, were you doing cocaine while you were pregnant? And she said, I asked her, when was the last time you did cocaine before you found out she, you were pregnant? She said, about a month prior to find out she was pregnant. Well, that month prior, she was already pregnant. So she pretty much admitted that she was doing cocaine while she was pregnant. She could have killed our son. He could have been born with some type of birth defects, or he could have been born addicted to cocaine. You know, whenever you're pregnant, it's not just about you. You have to consider the life that's inside of you, not just your own. You believe she's allowing people to drive drunk with your son in the car? Because after uh, she brought my child back, she... the. She came up, he was in the front seat of a, of a work van in front of an airbag, and there was two open containers of alcohol in the front seat with him. And who's driving the car? A guy that she was dating at the time. And is your wife in the car? She's sitting in the back of the van. Instead of her sitting in the front seat, my son being in the back seat, she's in the back and he's in the front, in front of an airbag. So what do you say to her when this guy pulls up drinking beers and your son's in the front seat? I said, how could you let someone drive around while they're drinking with our child in the van? You know, what if you had a wreck and you killed him? She tried to tell me they were in there already. It doesn't matter when they were in there from, they were in there. She just starts dating another guy right away? She's still married to you? Well, after, yeah. Well, after uh, she got out of jail, she went through probably four or five different guys. And most of them were drug dealers, either drug users. Do you still love your wife? No. So you don't, you don't want to be back with your no. wife? You just want your son, and you want to make sure you, you do want to have a... Yeah, I've, uh, I've moved on. You've moved on. Do you think she's still doing drugs now? I can't tell, because I'm not around her. Just like before she was doing it when we were married for five. We've been married for uh, five years, and I've never known it until she got arrested. So if she could hide it when I was, with, when I was around her every day coming home to her, she could surely hide it when I haven't seen her in three or four months. And you're, you're still currently married, right? Yes, she took a lie detector test on all of this, as well as a drug test, and we'll get to that, and you'll find out the truth and find out if she's still doing drugs. When you were married before she got arrested for cocaine, was she a good wife to you? No. And why, why wasn't she a good wife? She didn't take care of the house. Um, she liked to argue a lot. I come from work, she'd start throwing stuff at me. Ceramic dolphins, anything she can get a hold of, she would just start throwing it at me. Ceramic, she'd start throwing ceramic dolphins at you. Yeah. <laughs> why, why ceramic dolphins? Because that was the closest thing she could get her hands on. <laughs> you are not taking my baby from me again. Did you do drugs while you were pregnant? It was somebody else's cocaine. You made your decision when you started using cocaine. I took your lie detector test, I took your drug test. I'm going to prove to you today I did not do any of those things that you said I did. Could Michael be the father? I have a pretty good feeling it's the other guy. 
and the results for your DNA test. All right, well, let's bring her out. This is your wife, Amanda. You are not taking my baby from me again. You will not do that. You're the reason I turn to drugs, Michael, because when I come home, I didn't have anything. You took everything from me. I made one simple mistake. Oh, you made one mistake. One mistake, I took and you took him from me. That's the only thing in this world that I live for. Well, why did you choose drugs? I took him away because you're on drugs. Did you better yourself? No, you just started using more drugs. I, when I come home from jail, I walked into an empty house. You took TVs, phones, Gabriel stuff, everything. You took everything, Michael. And I give up. I give up on everything. I lost everything I had, so I give up. Yes, I turned to drugs. What else was I supposed to do? I didn't have anything. I didn't have nothing. I didn't have you. I didn't have my son. Nothing. And I just, I didn't know what else to do. You made your decision. You made your decision <laughs> when you started using cocaine. Michael. Tell me, I took it away. It was not matter. an everyday thing. I did not turn to drugs every day until you took my son from me. And you are not taking him today. I promise you, you will not take him today. I took your lie detector test. I took your drug test. I'm going to prove to you today that Gabriel is not yours and that I did not do any of those things that you said I did. I'm going to prove to you he is mine. I named him. I gave him my name. Yeah. He has my allergies. Oh, I signed a birth Amanda, certificate. Amanda, if... If you, did you ever let him believe that he wasn't the father? No. So you let him believe he was the father yes. for all these years? Yes. Well, then why all of a sudden now would you say, oh, I'm going to prove to you he's not your son? I was angry when, when I got arrested and everything that happened. When I got home, I was angry, and I told him that he was not the father. I had no intentions on ever telling him because he is a great father. I'm not going to So if you that. don't get arrested for cocaine, you're going to let the man live a life for the rest of his life? I was because I didn't want to hurt him. Or you didn't want to hurt yourself. Maybe no, the guy that's putting 60, him. 70 hours a week in supporting your ass might not after a while if you find out he's been lying to you. <laughs> I, I don't understand that logic. I don't want to hurt him. So I'm going to lie to him and let him pretend he's the father. How is, how is that not hurting him? Letting a man believe that this is his own flesh and blood when you're saying it's not. Michael was, when I told him I was pregnant, Michael was excited and he was ready to be a dad. And I didn't want to take that away from him. Well, who did you take it away from? I took it away from myself and my son. No, you took it away from another guy, right? If you're saying you got pregnant by somebody else. He didn't. He walked away. He didn't want anything to do with it. Were you sleeping with Michael and this guy at the same time? Um, yes, I was. Um, I was only seeing him on the weekends. Um, he would come down on Saturdays and Sundays. So you needed a, a weekday lover. Yes. Well, no, I didn't. Um, <laughs> but it just happened that way. You always try to play the victim. You know who the victim is? Our son. I know he is. <laughs> Could Michael be the father? It's a possibility, yes. So if you're sleeping with two guys at the same time and you get pregnant, why wouldn't you say, oh, I really want to find out who the real father is? Because I wanted Michael to be his father. Why wouldn't you be honest with the guy and say, you know what, I am pregnant, but I don't know whose it is. Maybe give him the option of, you know, yeah, you want him, he's happy and everything else because at this time, and correct me if I'm wrong, he's thinking he's the only one sleeping with you, right? Yes. And I don't, I don't know why I did what I did. I was young, I was scared, and I wanted my baby to have a father. And... I knew he would be a good father. Okay. And what, was he a good father all this yes. time? Yes. He's been a great father. He's a good supporter? Yes, sir. So because of your arrest, you then decide to tell him the truth. Right. I was angry. I said it to him out of anger. 
I was, I never wanted to tell him. I never, I was never going to tell him. But I was angry because he took my son. I was incarcerated. You keep and saying got, he, you keep saying he did it, he did it, he, he did, did it. He did take my son. Did he put the cocaine in your car? No, uh, somebody else did. And okay, if so then you, you, you blame the it on him? Were you doing cocaine? No, Were when you I got arrested, cocaine? I was not using cocaine. Okay. You're just having it there. No, it was somebody else's cocaine, and it got tossed in my possession you took him when to we get got it. pulled it over. It got tossed in your possession. You let him yes. drive a car. I was paying if for it. If it got to go tossed in cocaine. your possession, you don't do cocaine. Why wouldn't you toss it right the hell back? <laughs> Who talks like that? Yeah, I'm driving down the street. Somebody tossed an eight ball to me. We got pulled over, and he tossed And I was it like, what the hell is this? I kept driving, and the cops locked me up. What, what a kind of crazy story is that? It's not a crazy story. The officer is the reason I got out of jail, because he went and told the magistrate that he knew it wasn't mine. He seen the guy throw the dope at me. So he just locked you up because you got they dope locked, thrown at they you? They locked me oh! up because it was my oh! car. You're saying what? 50 50 chance that he is? Or? I'm a pretty good feeling it's the other guy. And the results for your DNA test. I don't believe that story, but let's just say it's true. The cop saw somebody throw coke at you. He didn't throw it at me. He got tossed you. it in the car. He tossed Okay, he underhanded it. <laughs> He just happened to have a big thing of cocaine the size of a softball in the car. I'm paying for it while he's driving it and she's in the passenger seat. We weren't together. We were separated. We were not separated. Yes, we were. It was the first weekend you were coming to pick Gabriel up for the weekend. We were not separated. Yes, we were. I didn't actually separate myself from you two. You were arrested. If, if you were separated, how did he take everything from you? When I come home from jail, he, come, he went in my house, my apartment, which he was not living. He was living with come in my apartment and took everything. I took my clothes, Are you guys Gabriel's married? Are you guys and married? toys. Yes, and TVs. Married. Okay, That's and it. at the time you were being arrested for cocaine and hanging out with some other guy, were you married to him? We were married, but we were separated. We were not separated. We didn't actually okay, do Okay, we, we didn't live in the same house. You lived in a completely different county than I did. I was there when I wasn't working. I was driving 70 miles each way to work. You lived with your Ever since the day I moved into that apartment, I had been in that apartment you for forced me to three move. months. A and a you Amanda, were living with the Amanda, explain to me exactly what he did wrong. He did nothing wrong. I admit, I did wrong. What did you I do wrong? I made the mistakes. Somebody... Being in the car with somebody that had cocaine, making well, why'd the wrong Well, why did you make that decision? I don't know why I chose to make that decision. Was your son in the car when you got no. arrested? No, no luckily he was with me. Yeah, yeah, because it was the first weekend you were going to have him. And so you're telling me you got in the car, you knew all his drugs were, but you weren't using it. No, I was not using it. Just at looking time. at it? I didn't even see it until we got pulled over. Well, you didn't see it being tossed to you? Yeah, when we got pulled over, when he threw it at me, was the first time I laid eyes <laughs> on that cocaine. <laughs> oh. I'll take a lie detector test to prove that, too. <laughs> Okay. Now it makes it look clear. You're saying as the cop car was pulling you over, this guy took the drugs and he tossed them to you. Yes. Stand-up guy, huh? Yeah, very stand-up guy. Pick, you're picking some really neat guys to hang out with, huh? Yeah. Instead of trying to work on your marriage, you're going out with a guy who's tossing bags of drugs at you when the police pull you over. Yeah. And did he say, hey, sorry about that? No, he didn't. Did you do drugs while you were pregnant? No, sir. Not at all? Not. You didn't use cocaine before no. you got pregnant? Um, I used before I got pregnant um, a couple of times before I got pregnant, but um, I never used while I was pregnant. I was not on drugs like that to, to straighten the record. I used drugs socially with friends. Cocaine? Yes. Um, but as far as being a heavily partier, I did not party every so day. So when you're using cocaine, what level of drug use would you say? That's mild? <gasps> That's light? No, it's drug use, regardless. Cocaine, I would say it's right. a pretty addictive drug, right? Right. Snorting it, smoking it, what? Uh, I was snorting it then. You were snorting it. Did you escalate to smoking it? Yes, after I lost my child, yes, sir. And you lose your child, and you want your child back so much, 
that you started smoking cocaine? You know, I was lost. And I know, I know I made a mistake. But my child is my everything. He is my everything. And I give up on everything when I lost him. You even gave up on him then? I give up on everything. You called the show, right? Yes, I did. You, you basically hear you saying you don't want her back, right? No. I have no interest in that, but you would like to know if he's your biological son. Yes. And you're saying what, 50-50 chance that he is? Or, yes. Or you got a good feeling that it was the other guys? I have a pretty good feeling it's the other guys. But you got a good feeling. And why would that be? I just have a feeling in my heart that it is. All right. Well, let's find out what you are telling the truth about or, or what you're lying about. You took a lie detector test before the show, and you were asked, have you ever used cocaine in front of your son? You answered, no. Did you abuse cocaine, crack, or pills when you were pregnant with your son? You answered, no. Have you ever allowed others to do drugs in front of your son? You answered, no. Besides your ex-boyfriend, have you allowed others to drink and drive with your son in the car? No. Have you ever left your son in the care of a known drug abuser? No. And the results for your lie detector test are that... Have you ever left your son in the care of a known drug abuser? No. And the results for your lie detector test are that you're not telling the truth. There's no way. But when I'm reading this, and I didn't even read the final line about you're not telling the truth, and just the way you're answering, telling stories about cocaine getting thrown at you and... You know, I'm just doing mild drug use. I'm snorting coke. I could tell that you're a liar. I know my I know gut I that didn't you're a liar. I use cocaine while I was pregnant with my child. You here in her fail this test, and I mean, this is a pretty horrible questions on here. I mean, this is your son we're talking about. Ever use, using cocaine in front of your son? Does it tell you which ones I lied and which ones I did Yeah, it lie? says you lied about them all. That's, How's that's that? not true. That is not true. Uh, how about that? All of them. No. Yeah. Here, here, here. I believe you. Hold on. You did get one question right. You were asked, did you abuse cocaine, crack, or pills throughout your entire marriage to Michael? And you answered no. And the results of that is that you told the truth. So I don't know if that gives you a level of comfort or not, but then we get back to using cocaine in front of your son, abusing cocaine, crack, or pills while you're pregnant with your son. Have you ever allowed others to do drugs in front of your son? Well, that's nice. Letting people drive drunk or drinking with your son in the car and putting them in a the front seat. Let's forget about everything else, cocaine, drugs, infidelity, not knowing who the father is. Why not do a simple thing like that with your child? You care so much about your child. He's your everything. How come you're not putting him in the back seat? Steve, there was, it was a work another van. Another no, stupid? No, it was a work van, and I had to take him to meet his father, and the airbags was turned off. In a work van, you have a key to turn the airbags on and off. Why, did, why, weren't you, why wasn't he sitting in the back? Because there was no back seats. It was a paint van. So why don't you even put your son in that period? Because it was the only transportation I he, had. If you asked this hardworking man, he wouldn't have done it for his own son? Yeah, he probably would have. Well, then there you go! <laughs> why would you have so many problems with a guy, a pretty decent guy, good provider? You say yourself he's a good father. Why can't you get along with this guy? I don't have problems with him. I think he's a great guy, and he was a great husband, and he's been a great father. We just don't get along. I don't know why we don't get along. We just don't. Again, I want to go back. If you didn't get arrested for the cocaine, you never would have told him that he might not be the father? No. So you would have just let him in the dark for the rest of his life? Probably, yes. you have any feelings about that? 
I do. I, I blame myself for all of this, and I know that I'm the one that made the mistakes. I know that, and I'm the first person to admit that I've made mistakes. But people do that, and people change, and I know that I have. I've been clean now for two months. Every week that I've had my son, that I'm supposed to have my son, I've been there with him. I have not left his side since I've been home. Because I didn't just walk away from my son and my husband. I walked away from my family as well. I left everything. What do you want to happen today? I want to go home with my son is what I want. And you have anything you want to say to your husband? No. Other than I'm sorry I hurt you. Do you still love him? Yes, I still love him, but we can't, there's, I don't know. Anything you want to say to her? No. Do you feel like you are just making a lot of bad decisions in your life? Yes. You, you're making decisions of letting people drive Drinking, driving with your ch with your child in the car, you're you know smoking cocaine. You're doing all these things. Why wouldn't you come here and at least admit the truth on that lie detector test? Why wouldn't you give him the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what? Yeah, I did make mistakes. I did do this. Why lie about it? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if you're at the point now where you're saying I don't want to be with you and all I want to do is be with my son. Isn't that the, at the point? It's not like you're trying to hold on to him. You, you told him everything else. You might not be the father. I was cheating on you then. Yes, I've been doing cocaine. I've been smoking. Well, why, why not come clean on everything? So at least then you're saying, yeah, I'm, I'm making a complete effort here to be with my son. I'm not going to lie about anything. I don't know why I didn't tell him the truth. I don't know. Did, did you take a drug test before the show? Yes, sir. And do we have those results? Before the show, you did take a drug test, whether you used cocaine or not, and you passed. You have no cocaine in your system. <clears throat> and that's good. I don't think anybody here, me, anybody sitting in the audience, nobody wants to sit up here and say, oh, I hope she was doing coke. Nobody wants that. You're a mother. We want you to act like one. I want to be a mother. I do. Well, then start acting like one. And this guy... <laughs> and honestly, you had a good thing going with this guy. Seems like a nice guy. Talks about how he's working 60, 70 hours a week. You say he's a great father. He was a good guy. Great provider. And because you get arrested and you get angry... And, and rightfully so, he's angry, finds out his wife's doing coke, gets arrested for coke. Then you open, you open the Pandora's box of, you might not be the father. Do you regret ever making that decision? I do. You say you love your son incredibly. You say you love your son. Do you, either one of you really want to know the results? You say that he, he's going to be your little boy regardless, right? You've been his father You've been raising them. You've been taking care of them. You go out, you get a paycheck, you come back. Looks like he's being taken care of pretty good. But I, what, I, what I'm getting at is, do either one of you really want to know the results of this? Yes. I have a right to know. You definitely have a right to know. I'm just saying, maybe it's better not, you know, just go on. Yeah, he's my son. That's it. End of story. I'm going to give you what you want, but I'm just, I'm telling you, maybe you just go and be his father and you don't read the results. It's not going to change, but I need to know. Okay, that's fair enough. You're not the father.
great. <gasps> Get away from me. Michael, I'm sorry. Get away from me now! Let me steal you, little boy. Let me steal Mo's view as dad, you know what I mean? Little boy doesn't know anybody else as dad, right? I love him. Then it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, the one thing is now you know the truth. You know what she did. You had a trick that she's a whore. But you know what? That little boy didn't do anything wrong. No, he's a victim. And so are you. So are you. You've been lying to for a long time. But I, I hope, like you said, that you are going to take care of that little boy. Oh, I was lying. You don't get to sit on my stage, stand up. Well, you know, this is this is a probably a story that you could do almost every day. Could have somebody on my show like you every day and do this story. And there's worse stories, you know. Stories of children being abused and just, just people. But you just like, look how many lives you're ruining here. I mean, and a decent guy. And what you're doing with your child, put it, you know, drinking and driving, put, uh, you know, front seats of cars, hanging around drug dealers and drug users, and you're doing drugs, and you you sleeping around, and you let this man, you know, you, now he finds out he's really not the father. I mean, how do you turn out to be that kind of human being? We have no decency about you. No integrity at all. It's just about what you want and what you can do and what you can hide with. This guy's busting his ass, being a good father, and what does he deserve? He finds out that it's not even his kid, that you're a drug head. And for what? How, how, what, what did you have so bad? Can I provide a home for you? And, and, then, and then what? The decisions you make with your child. Doing drugs in front of them. Leaving a drug abuser to watch your kid. And now this guy, what is, what, what's his emotions going through? What is he thinking? I'm sorry. This, I hurt. And then it's, I'm sorry and that, that's supposed to clear up everything? No, it's not. It's, I'm sorry maybe, doesn't maybe I'm sorry that. after being pinched for drugs. I'm still going to be his dad no matter what. That's fine. I'm going to have a problem with every little mother. I'm going to find these people now for him. Just because you gave birth you. doesn't make you a mother. I want you to be his father. I want you in his life. I've always told you that. I can turn my back on you, but I'll never turn my back on him. That's fine. You have all rights to turn your back on me. Because a child shouldn't, shouldn't have to pay for the mistakes that their mom makes. You're right, he shouldn't. I know that. I'm the first person to admit that I was wrong in everything that I did. I know. Well, it's I easy to say you're sorry for something you've already done, but you could have prevented it by not doing it. Well, people make mistakes. Well, you're Are just you perfect. No. No, you're by far perfect. Nobody in here is perfect. People make mistakes, and they learn from their mistakes every single day. And don't you think I hate myself for everything that I've done? Sometimes I just want to just die to just get it over with. Because I know I'm the one that messed up. I know that. And I live it every single day. Every day, I do. But people know how to change. And people can change. And I told you, I was clean. Was I not? I want to be a mother. I want to take care of my kid. Because you know before 
anything happen before I started using drugs. I was a great mother. I was there with him every single day from the day I gave birth to that son up until the day that I got served with a restraining order saying that I couldn't even see him anymore. And you tell them that I wasn't a good mother. Yeah, up to that point. Yeah, up till that point. But for the last 16 months, you haven't. I know that. You're the one that's got a, you're the one that lost almost a year and a half. Not me. I know that. And I regret it every day. time you'll day. never get back. Never. I know that. Don't you think I know that? I know everything that you're sitting here saying to me. I know. I live it every day. I hate myself for what I've done to my son. I hate myself for everything that I've done. I don't blame anybody but myself. You can't blame anybody but yourself when you screw up this bad. And I pay for it every day. I don't sleep at night because I lay in the bed and I think about how bad I hurt you and how bad I've hurt this, my, my son. And I don't want to hurt him anymore. I don't. Well, He's you can, beautiful. You, you know what I mean, though? I want to be a good mother, and I can be a good mother. And we want you to be a good mother. We want you, we want you to stop making real bad decisions in your life. We want you to stop running around with men that do drugs, that aren't going to take your son's safety seriously. Those, you know what? You don't make mistakes like that. I re you're right. Nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. But when it comes to your kids, you don't make those kind of mistakes. The good thing is, none of the mistakes that you made had tragic consequences. Your son's alive, you're alive, he's alive, so you can start being a good mother. We want you to be a good mother. We want your little boy to have a good mother. But only... <clears throat> but that's all up to you. And you can go to bed crying every night and, and staying up late awake and wishing life was over and all that, but that's not going to help him. No, it's not. And truthfully, you just need to start. And it, the thing is, you're not an addict, right? Nope. Haven't done drugs for how long? Two months now. Two months. So you're, you're not addicted to drugs. What's preventing you from being a good mother? Nothing. 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 So you, why don't you tell me, tell your husband, from this point on, you are going to be a good mother. I am going to be a good mother. I'm going to be there from now until forever. Forever. And I promise my son that. Do you have anything else you want to say to her? So, will you let this man go see his son? Yes, I will. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the show. My guest is Keith. And Keith, you've been accused of inappropriately touching your son when he was three years old, right? Yeah. You've been accused of that? Yeah. Now, I don't know if you did it. We're going to get to the bottom of it. Um, before the show, you took a lie detector test. Yes. Right? Correct? Yes. So until we get the story out, until we find out whether you did this or not, I would like you to stand up and not sit in a chair until we find out whether you did this or not, okay? <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> and if you didn't do it, I'll be more than glad to have you take a seat, but... I don't my... want to seat after that then. Okay. You just basically just condemned me already. No, I didn't condemn you, Keith. Let me explain myself. And people ask me all the time, why don't you let people sit on my stage? And just like when I was a police officer and I would come to your house and until I found out the facts, I stood there and I talked to you and I found out the facts. And while I was talking to you, you were standing and talking to me. And if at some point, if you did, and I don't know if you did, and I'm not condemning you, I'm going to talk to you and we are going to get to the bottom of this and find out if you did. And if you didn't, I'll be more than happy to say, Keith, have a seat, let's talk. I don't but want your time, seat till then. You, well, you know what? Then, then you won't have a problem but standing that's, up. That, no, I don't. Okay? Then you don't have a problem standing no, up. No, you're right. I don't. Because if you did for even there one second. There is no if I did. I did a child uncomfortable, I then I don't want you to be comfortable, and I want you to stand up. That's Screw why you I do and it. your seat. Yeah. You're very defensive, huh? Of course I'm defensive. Would you be? If I was accused of molesting my three-year-old son, yeah, I probably would be too. But I certainly wouldn't have problems standing up and getting all acting childish about no, it. No, it's not acting childish. Well, how would you explain it? You condemned me already. Condemn you? What did I condemn you to? You make me what did stand. I what you did made I... me stand when I was seated. When you make somebody stand, you're condemning them. You're trying to make yourself act like you're this big tough. In front of all these first people, of all, you are nothing first of all, to me. You're not there ain't no first of all. First of you all, try to condemn me first of for all, something for touching my son, you're and not, I didn't touch my son. Listen, so don't accuse me of it. Do you want to continue the show? Don't accuse me of it. I'm not accusing you. I told you we are going to get to the bottom of it. Use listening as a skill, okay? Use it as a skill. I didn't accuse you. I and said I we will told get to the you bottom what of I it. Said. I told and you what I said. And if you want to continue this show, Listen, you will stop Whether you do it or using... don't, don't make me a Listen. difference. I didn't do it. Well, you know what? We can easily do the show without you. If you keep using vulgar language on my show... But well, then you know what? Then you're going to talk to me like a man. You're going to treat am? me like a man. You're not going to treat me like a condemned man. Are we talking as men face to face right now? Look, I said what I said. Are we men? Are you a man? I know I'm a man. I'm standing right here. Now, are we going to sit here and talk about who's tough? Or are we going to get to the bottom of the truth, whether you did something to your son or not? Do you want to find out? I don't need to find out. I know already. You want to find out. Then why the hell are you standing on my I'm stage? here for my kids. Okay. I'm here for them. There you go. There you go. Let's make that the point of the show. We're here for your kids. That's all the reason okay. I'm here. All right, Keith, so now can we continue with the show? Continue. Okay. Did you do it? No, I didn't do it. Okay. Why are you being accused of such a crime? Allegedly, my son, when he was three, three and a half years old, told his mother that I reached inside his and fondled him. So you, 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 were, you were accused of this. How did you find out that you were being accused of this? I found out first through children and youth. They contacted you? They or... came to my home with sheriffs. They told me that they got a phone call saying that I was molesting my oldest son. And what did you say? Wait, wait. Take your wait. time. Take your time. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, give him a minute, wait, Mike. Wait, Just wait. give him a minute. Wait. I gotta imagine, Keith, this is a pretty emotional thing, especially if you're an innocent man. It's gotta be a horrible, horrible thing. But the thing is, I wanna hope that you didn't do it. I, I wanna believe in you. Not I'm not hope. I'm not here. There's nobody, no nobody, no hope. nobody Keith, nobody's looking at you saying, Boy, I hope that guy did that. Nobody. We wanna find out when we get to that lie detector test, we wanna say, hey, Keith.
Tell me, obviously I could see that you're very hurt. How does it feel that you've been accused of something like this? To feel. It feels like somebody took my heart and just like just stepped on it. You know? I did a lot of bad things in my life. But when my sons came, I, I stopped. Because I, I don't want them to live the life that I did. And then somebody says that. You know, that's not me they're hurting. What are you exactly being accused of? I'm accused of when my son, my oldest son was three, three and a half years old. I reached inside his... his Take your time, Keith. I, I, I reached inside his and I molested him. Who said that you did this? His mother. His mother said that, that you did this? Yeah. Is this a woman that you're married to? or No, we have so kids together. You have children together? Yeah. How many children do you have together? Two. Two. Is there anything off the top of your head that would make you think why... Because you're saying you didn't do it. Why she would say that you did this? I don't want to believe. I don't Do you know that she said you did this? Yeah, she told me. She told you? She told me. But the only thing I could think of is, like, in my past, I I cheated on her. And I believe that she wants to taint my name where... Are Are you still together with her? Physically, yes. Any kind of emotions, it, there can't be. With this over my head? Did you ever ask her why she's doing that to you? She's saying she's not making it up. She says that my son really said this. But see, this is where I don't understand. You see, I am a father, and I got two other kids. At that, my son didn't start talking late. He didn't start forming sentences until late. Do you believe that? Maybe someone told you something that said. See, that's what I believe. I believe somebody said that to him. He was told that. If you bring my son out here, he will come running to me. So he's not afraid of you? No, no. So your girlfriend, is that what you call your girlfriend or your mother of your children? Yeah. She made these accusations two years ago. How's your life been with her? And your kids for two hell, years. This hell, is two years hell, a long time with this hell, hanging over. Well, your first head. of all, I didn't find out till a year ago. So for a full year, I didn't know. Everybody else knew, but I didn't know. You know, she told my friends, her parents, her sis. I didn't know. You know, she was treating me differently, but I was under assumption it was because of what I did in the past. She just didn't have the heart to forgive me. And she, did she ever call the police? Or? No. No. How, I didn't know. How did know. this uh, Child Protective Service get involved? I was at my house. They was there. I went to the door. It's children and youth and sheriffs. They come in and they said they got an anonymous phone call saying that I was molesting my children. So it was anonymous. It wasn't... It wasn't okay. I mean, it could, it, could, it could be your, the mother child, but... Who knows who? Yeah, we, I don't know. You who said did it. she was telling a lot of people. Yeah, I, I don't know who made this phone. And call. now you say since this incident two years ago, she says that this happened. Your your boy loves you, normal with you. If he can't, you said if he came on stage, he'd come running right up to you. Yeah, he's not scared of you at all. No. Okay. Has it has this affected your relationship with your children at all? I'm scared to touch him. I'm scared to give him a hug, a kiss. I don't do. That's got to be tough. That's got to be tough. Because I can't imagine, Keith, not being able to hug my son, not being able to give him a kiss. As an innocent man, that would be a real tough thing to deal with.
Okay, Keith, what, what I don't understand is if the relationship started out and, you know, you were fooling around and, and you really hurt her and she didn't forgive you and, and she brings it up every time you get into a fight and she drags you over to Coles and But at what point wouldn't you say you made the craziest accusation? I'm not spending another night with you I ever can't. again. I can't. I can't. I can't do that. I got three kids. I got a daughter by another lady. But, and you don't live with that daughter, No, right? I don't. So I don't. And I... that kills me every day. And it's got to be killing you that you're accused of this yes, every day. Yes, it kills me every day. Yes, it does. But I will not see another man raise my kids. No other man will step a foot in that house and raise my children. I will do even it. If, even if, if I got to walk through hell itself, I will do it. So even if your life is a living hell every day. Then so day, be it. And you're going to stay with her. After this show, I waited for this show. When these results come back, I'm gone. I'm leaving. You're leaving her? I'm leaving. I'm done. Really? Yeah, I'm done. So what if... What if these results come back and it says that you didn't do it and you say you're... You keep saying if. No, there is I, no I, if. I, I, I only say if because I don't know the results, Keith. I don't read them before the show. I re, when I read them on stage here, that's the first time I'm All seeing right. those results. I'm saying they come back, you pass. What if, what if she says, you know what, Keith? I'm sorry that I put you through this hell. I did it. I lied because... You cheated on me, and I wanted you to hurt like I've been hurting. I love you. What do you do then? What I do? What do you do? What I do? How do you love somebody when you destroy their name, their self-esteem, their character? I mean, you destroy them being a father. Where do you love them? That is not, I'd rather somebody hate me. Well, that's what I'm saying. Why, so why stay with her for the past year? Because my boys. I couldn't allow my boys. But it sounds like that's going to happen. No, it's going to happen, but it's going to happen with them now knowing I didn't do it. Okay. Now, this Child Protective Service did investigate it, and it was unfounded, but it's still a problem for you. It's a tremendous problem. Because does she still say, even though there was an investigation, it was unfounded? No, not in words. But we've been together long enough where she don't have to say words okay. to me. And she took a lie detector test before the show also. And you feel really confident about your test. It's not confidence. I know. You know. I, I mean, know me. I got to say, you're the first person we've ever done the show who's as confident as you are about passing the test. So what I'd like you to do now, Keith, I'm going to ask you to leave the stage. I'm going to talk to Crystal, who is the mother of your children. Yeah. And then I'll bring you back out, okay? All right. All right. This is Keith's girlfriend, the mother of his two boys. Let's bring out Crystal. <laughs> How are you doing, Crystal? Nice meeting you. I, I have your, um, the father of your two boys out here, very emotional. Well, I, I, I don't want to take one side or the other. But as a father, I almost I want to believe him. I want to believe him. I'd love to believe him, too. You'd that love to be, believe that him, too. That would make my life and our lives wonderful. It would be nice. What did your son say to you? My son said to me to tell Keith to stay out of his diapers. Tell, he said, Mommy, tell Keith to stay, stay out, out of my, my diapers. Di tell, tell Daddy to stay out of my diapers. Tell Daddy to stay so out of my diapers. So I told my son, tell your father to stay out of your diapers. Because I wanted my son to know that what he was doing is wrong. And I wanted my son to feel more powerful than I guess he feels when he takes advantage of a child. Because I find it sickening. So, Crystal, you're telling me your boy is three years old and he tells you Three, three and a half, somewhere around there. I'm, three and I'm, 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 I'm an expert on three and a half year olds, and I'm finding it hard to believe that a three and a half year old boy would say, Mom, tell Daddy to stay out of my diapers. No, we were in a bathtub. Me and my son were in a bathtub, and he said, uh, Well, Mom, uh, stay, tell Daddy to stay out of my diapers. Mommy, tell Daddy to stay out of my diapers. And your reaction to that question was? But right before this, we were all on the sofa, and 
um, our son and Keith were both laying there watching a movie. I was sitting beside them. And I thought I saw the blanket move up a little bit. So I just snatched the blanket real quick. I saw his hand right in the inside of his leg. So his father left, and we got a bath. And that's when my son said, Mommy, tell Daddy to stay out of my diapers. So I said, you know what? You tell him. I regret saying that. But right, exactly. I should have right. I mean, you say that, and I'm know, like, what the I hell? Wanted, I know, but I wanted him to feel power. What mother I says wanted, that? I know, but I wanted him to be to know that you know Keith is his dad is wrong, and you know. You so you're you're throwing it back powerful. on a three and a half year old. I know, not powerful. Uh, what, but I said something later. I spoke. I justified it. You know what, later. Crystal? Even later is too late. What mother? I mean, that's the same her reaction. Day. Like I, I don't care to, if you did it ten seconds later. No. I'm going to be the one. I'm not meaning to offend you. I'm really not, Crystal. But that's a no, serious I agree. that's a serious defect that you I have. I agree. Because I agree. no normal mother would say to a three-year-old. I just wanted him to. I just uh, they wanted wouldn't say it to a sixteen-year-old. Powerful. You, not the powerful. The three-year-old can't be powerful. Not They're powerful. They're looking at you to be powerful. Make him feel guilty. You know? And yes, you're right. When did you talk to Keith about? That your son said this to you? That, 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 that night, that day? And what did Keith say? He said, I'm a lot of things, but that, that's one thing I'm not. That and was it. You, and did you believe him? No. And Why would my son say this to me? And then what did you do? Then what did I do? I had moved out. You moved out? I went, I went to a shelter. You went to a shelter? Mm -hmm. And just started living at the shelter? I got thrown out of the shelter after I had an altercation with someone that was staying Well, there. I don't care about that. Okay. And then I had no choice because I had nowhere else to go. There was only one shelter in the area. Okay. I moved See, back in with Keith. Hold on a second, Crystal. This, this is where I always go, what planet am I living on? Because if your son is saying he's being sexually abused, mm -hmm. why isn't there a 911 phone call? Where do I go? You don't go anywhere. The police come to your house, and they knock on your door, and you tell them. And then they take Keith away in handcuffs if they find out that it's obviously true. He's never had a past. I don't give a damn. They didn't arrest him I don't give a now. damn. Well, if reason you didn't want to call the cops, why didn't you call CPS? I left. I, I keep hearing that you left. I left. But I you didn't want to take some left. action against the man that molested your son? Absolutely, but... You, they're not going to come and just arrest him on my word, and I know that. I'm not an idiot. Did you call CPS? Somebody did. Did you? Yeah, I okay, did. Okay, well, so why, why, why? Not right away, though. After the shelter, when I had no choice but to go back to the apartment, then I did. But if you didn't get into altercation, if you could have stayed at the shelter? They were eating my, the, the chick was eating my kid's food. Okay. You have to buy your own food there. They don't, they Does don't give you anything. Does that make sense to anybody? No. What do you mean? I'm, explain to me. I don't understand. I'm, I'm going to explain to you. Okay. What? I don't understand. Because somebody ate your son's fruit. Okay. I came in. You got into an altercation. Okay, exactly. You got thrown out of the shelter. Because she threw dishes Because at she me. threw dishes at you. Yep. And we got into a fist fight. You got fight. into a fist fight. The police came. Police came. And they told me Police to come for that. They'll come for a fight yeah. over food. The police come because there's food over being thrown and no, plates and there's fight. a fight. Yes. But they won't come. When a 36-year-old no, man sticks his hand on a three-year-old's pants. Steve, the police will come, but they're not going to arrest somebody on your word. I can say that because they I'm upset with him that day. You know what? They won't come if you don't call. No, actually, I was on housing, and he wasn't supposed to be there, and I didn't want to lose my housing, so I went to the shelter instead. Are you still with Keith? Not really, no. Do you sleep with Keith? No. Never? Not never. 
four, four or five when's times the last, the last time, two years. When's the last time you slept with him? I don't know. So you believe this man molested New your Year's. son? New Year's Eve. Yes. I understand. New Year's Eve, yes. good time. Everybody's having a good time. <laughs> End of the year. And so you said, hey, Keith, it's the end of the year. Let's get it on. Yep. Actually, no, he's always trying to be with me, Steve. He's always trying to be with you. Yeah. And you can't turn him down, right? He's a good-looking guy. Him I can turn him down to a point until he just won't stop anymore. And I'm like, just screw it. <laughs> and then that's what you do. I guess. So, again, I can't get past the fact that you sleep with a man that you think molested it's not your on a child. It's not, it's not every weekend. It's not on a regular basis. It could be months, months, and months apart. But you still sleep with the man okay. that you accuse of molesting your son. Well, I don't know if it's true, right? Do you love Keith? Which? Keith. Yes, Keith. Yes. Yeah. The guy that Do you... I love him? Yeah. My son. I'm asking you. Do you love him? I love him, but if he does this, then I don't, I don't love this. Listen, of course not. Of course not. But I'm just asking yes, you. Yes, I love him. The way you feel, not... if you think about Keith when you're laying in bed, do you love Keith? No, because this comes to my mind. This comes to your mind? Yeah, so I'm disgusted. For two years, this disgusted you so much. You're so outraged by it. You moved into a shelter. I you never heard. called anybody until you got into a fist fight with another female. And then you called. And for the past two years, you continue to sleep with Keith. Crystal, is it possible that you made up this story to hurt Keith for cheating on you? I knew Keith cheated on me millions of times before we even had children. Did you make up this story to hurt Did you make up this story to hurt Keith for cheating on you? No. 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 Now, what I don't understand, this supposedly what happened to your son has got to be, if it was just my story, I'd say, that's the most important thing here today to find out the truth, right? Yes, that's why I'm asking. But you wanted us to ask him on the lie detector test if he cheated on you, right? Um, if he if he cheated on me with any of my any of my family members, because they're my family and there's wedges there. Do you care more about the cheating than whether he did this to your son? No. All right. Well, let's let's bring Keith back out. <laughs> Anything you want to say to Crystal, Keith? I knew it. I knew you called children youth on me. I know. I knew it. Over what our son told to me. When's the last time you seen me cry? A while. A while. Do A I cry? Time. Very long time. Yeah. Very, very long time. People know me and I cry in front of them. They don't know well, me. Oh, it's an emotional. No, they shouldn't have to see me cry. I am a dog. I am a dog. Dale? You say you're no, not. No, no, no. Okay, That's my past. You, my, you just hold dad. that over my head. I was the biggest dog walking. Absolutely. But that still is not excusable for you to damage my relationship with my son. He's three and a half from years him. old. He's three and a half years old. He can't I say, he cannot say, him. he can't say out his mouth, I want to get in a car. Can I have a cup of water? Can I have a sandwich? No, but, but you're going to tell what? me he said out his mouth, Daddy put his hand in my 
sister and molested me? You could say words and maybe. And then you just pieced it together. Chance, you pieced it together. There's an angel there that really wants you out of his life. So then maybe, you pieced this together. Far fetched. He put words out to you and you pieced it together that he said to you, Daddy's putting his, his hand in my and molesting me. You listen real close when your son's speaking to you. Well, then you tell me the words he said or to daughter. you. What's the words he said to you? Because he obviously didn't say that full sentence to you. What Aaron, words right, did he I'm, say to I you? I will. I'll, I'll remember from a year and a half ago, but I'll... But you remembered, you know, everything Daddy. else. Daddy. I tell, dare tell, anybody, hold on, hold on, anybody to put words tell together for Daddy, me on that. Tell Daddy. Keep his hands out my diaper. So our, our, our son needs to you go to You have a hard time remembering when your son tells you, Steve, you no that he's molested. Whole you your no whole day? Yeah. Tell me about your whole day. My son goes from pre-K from 12.30 to 3.30, okay? Buses come every hour. Buses come every they hour. They stop at 5 o'clock. That's a pretty tough day so far. Yeah. So you ha don't have a phone. Don't, I don't have a phone. Okay. So I have to try to go to other people's when they're around to use their phone. Okay. Scheduling doctor and dentist appointments. Tell me when it starts getting tough. Okay, carrying groceries by myself on buses. You're only allowed three bags, and if you don't move quick enough with a stroller, three bags and a kid in your arm, because I have a six, we have a 16-month-old son. Then I'm, then I'm, then I'm having altercations with the superintendent of the bus, of the you bus. You have a lot of altercations. Of tons, constantly, I every single why. day of my life. I always wonder too. When does it start so getting tough? To make a, you know, I'm sorry. It's when you need to make a phone call and you can't get to a phone. You can't That's remember what huh? your son exactly said to you about the man that you love, the man that you already it's have bad. a child with, a man that you've been with for eight years at the time. Seven. And you, seven years at the time. And you can't remember the words that your son said. Because he said about so much from Daddy me. molesting him. He said so much. So he said things since then. And so you're going to forget what your son said to you because the buses run every hour and you had preschool from 1245 to whatever time it was. <laughs> and your day was so bad. That you let a man's yep. life hang in the balance that he's being accused of sexual molesting his son for two damn years. That's a real tough day. I forgive you right now, right? And then a man who still wants to make you feel, and you know what? I like seeing him do that because you know what? It th means he really does care about you even after all the hell that you put him through. <laughs> I can honestly say I don't know if I have that much compassion in my body. Is there anything you want to say to Keith? Before the lie detector results, sometimes you get a chance to, to say, you, to come out and tell the truth. I love you, but if you're guilty, I can't love you? I know I'm not. Well, then why would you say this to me? Crystal, look at me. Why would you say this Am to I me, guilty? Keith? Am I guilty? I don't know. You know me. You don't even need to hear this. Well, why would you say that? For I don't know the answer to that. But you don't and you believe that you, I made it up, right? You know what? Read the results. Did, but once the results are read, once the once the once the results are read, once the results are read, it's going to be too late. All right, to taint your name. It'll Remember be too late, name. Crystal. Listen to me. It'll be too late. Yeah. Believe in me before that results are read. If you read it, if you got to wait till them, Chris, it'll be too late. I just took this lie detector test. I don't have nothing to hide. I ain't lying about anything. There is no question of if I'm going to pass. There's no question on that. 
I, I feel a little offended that I would, that my kid's father would actually think that I would make something up like this about him. Because I'm not just proving myself to my kid's mom. I'm glad I was given the test because I can let Keith know that I didn't make this up about him. It's scary, you know, because you want to know the truth, and then once you know the truth, it's, it's a whole new life. It's a whole new ball game. Because I know in my heart that Keith knows I didn't tell our son to say any of this stuff about him. After I just took that test, ask me, because I won't fail. If he's guilty, he knows he's guilty, obviously. Do you believe me? Fine. I don't know. Fine. I don't know. It's a big, uh, big roll of the dice there, huh? If you, if you did have something you wanted to say and be no. honest and say, you know, no, what, I don't Keith? believe you. Okay. You don't believe me. No. Huh? Keith was asked, "Did you ever touch your son in a sexual manner?" He answered, "No." Did you ever have your son touch you in a sexual manner? Keith answered, "No." Did you ever tell your son that you would cut off his pee-pee if he told anyone about you touching him inappropriately? And he answered no. And the results of Keith's lie detector test is that he has told the truth. The truth. Would you like a hug? Would you like a hug? Would you like a kiss? No. You don't want to do none of this with me? No. Nope. That's very good, because I don't want it either. <laughs> can I see my son? Can I, can you, can my son be brought to me? After, Where's, after this, we will. After this. Um. Keith, I want to tell you something. You can have a seat if you like. But I'm like you. I don't know if I could sit either. And Crystal, you took a lie detector test before the show also. And you were asked, did you make up the story about Keith touching your son inappropriately? You answered no. You were asked, did your son tell you to tell his father to stay out of his diaper? You answered yes. Please God, don't let do this. And you were asked, did you make up the story because you believed that Keith was having an affair. And you answered no. And the results of your lie detector test are that you did not tell the truth. What didn't I tell the truth about, if I can ask? Um, the three questions you were asked. Oh, I was lying about all of them? You tell me. How is it that he passes them? I was it though. And you fail. I hear the story, and stories don't add up sometimes. They don't make sense. I don't believe a mother that really cares about her kids that if they're not trying to hurt somebody for something, they stay with that man. If they really believe that man molested their son. Yeah. I don't even want to hear it, Keith. You gotta hear it. I'm not the best looking dude in the world. Whatever. I don't dress the best. Whatever. But no dude you ever be with your life would ever give you what I offered you. I offered you me. 100% me. <laughs> all my love, all my devotion. I would have I laid my life down for you in a drop of a dime. And you know this. But you know what I'm going to do now? I know that. You know what I'm going to do then, don't you? That's sounds a lot different. You know what I'm going to do, I don't, don't care you? what you do. You, I kind of figured that already. I don't. Because I know what he said, and I know I wasn't lying either. <laughs> I know it. I don't know how you did it, but you beat it. Everything, I beat it? You beat everything. 
<laughs> you beat everything. You I could've... set this up. Are you kidding me? If you could do your pulse, right? I, you I said if you beat keep your the pulse lie detector rate, test. If you could keep your no, pulse No, I told you it's impossible nerves. to beat no. it. I told you that. It's how impossible you, to wait. beat it. How did you fail it? Excuse me. How did you fail it? He was asked one more question, Crystal, and it was very important to you to know this. I mean, I think this is why you came to the show. I think this question here is the reason that you came to the show today. I You're not going to talk over eyeballs. me. I wasn't Get off lying. my stage. I'm done with you. No, no, no. no. You wanted to know if Keith cheated with one of your family members. And he was asked, did you ever cheat on Crystal with any of her family members? And the results of that question is, who gives a damn? to bring my boys. I want my boys. Oh, you know what? yeah. What, hold on, Keith. I'm going to take you to your son. I'm going to take you so you can see your son. But I'm not telling you right either. now, this, hours. we will not, I am not mm. here to make you feel better you about it. your insecurities. You wrongly accuse a man for two years, his own I went by what son. My son said you to selfish, me. selfish woman. You gotta feel good, huh? No, I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. I can't believe this. You excited? Look at my boys. I know. I love you so much. Give me some love, boy. I'll get to you in a second. Give me love. Oh, I love you. Let's get the other one. Performance. If you stare at it, it's maybe like one of those pictures you stare and you see something different. How he managed to beat the test? Yeah, that would that would make sense if you were able to pass the test too. Then I'd say, well maybe yeah, he beat it. But he passes and you fail? You fail everything. Then you want to know which questions you fail? You're not going to talk over me. I wasn't Get off lying. my stage. I'm 